8. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Outer Wilds again. I'm ready, maybe. Am I ready? Who knows? Am I ever ready? Probably not. Hi everybody, welcome! Happy Sunday! I hope everyone's had a good weekend. Welcome on in, welcome to um, more poor decisions, probably. Oh. oh wow, I liked for a bit there, but hi! Okay, I, I guess I'm small to start with here. <laughs> Thank you for the chibi redeem, the instant chibi. Welcome, welcome everybody, welcome. I hope everyone's been having a good weekend. Why does it keep thinking I'm, to, I'm looking to the, the right so much? I'm I'm not looking to the right, why Why is my, I, who knows? I just need to look more to the left to compensate, I guess. <laughs> Thank you for the chibi redeem, Rika. And also congratulations on the first, hello. This is really weird, hold on. Why is it doing this? Why is it doing this? Hold on, I need to fix this. Okay, okay, I fixed it. There we go. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Rika. Congratulations on first. Hello. I, I saw you before the stream started, too. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, Akira. Thank you for the, the sound alerts and the head patch as well. Head pat as I chibied. I'm gonna give myself another head pat in chibi form as well. <laughs> welcome, welcome, and Art MV, hello. Welcome on in, welcome, welcome. And Brie, hello. Welcome, you're gonna be happy. I'm I'm planning on going back to the vessel today. <laughs> I've decided, I've, I've been doing a lot of DLC stuff, which is understandable because it's really cool and I want to find out more and I want to just keep exploring that. But there's still a, f a few things in the base game that I haven't fully discovered that I really do want to discover. So that's going to be my priority for the start of the stream today. I'm going to brave my anglerfish fears to go back to where the vessel is. And I'm, I'm fully ready to be jump scared. Not by the game, by you lot. <laughs> But yeah, I really, I really want to get the, there's more to discover here from the vessel. And also the, there's more to discover here with the quantum caves. Really need to figure that out because I've, I've seen where there is like a chamber that I can't access, but I can't do my trick of like turning out the lights to appear there because there are lights in that chamber, which makes me think there's got to be another way I can get there. I just haven't figured it out yet. Also, jellyfish vibes. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome on in. Come on, pull up a pull up a seat, pull up a beanbag chair. Come settle down. We're off to do some exploring. And Zariad, hello. Excuse you. You have a question for the cat? Um, well, I can try and answer. Depends on the question, but feel free to ask. What is what is uh, what is cat relationship with Kingdom Hearts? Oh, personally. My personal relationship with Kingdom Hearts is, um, I've only played the first game. <laughs> I played the first game when I was much, much younger and I haven't played any of the other ones, but I know, I know so much Kingdom Hearts lore just through my friends. I know all the lore. I, I know about all of the characters and everything going on because of having friends who are obsessed with it, but I've never actually played I don't think I even finished the first game, honestly. I was 
I was a young child and I got stuck at one point and I don't think I actually finished the game. <laughs> so my, my Kingdom Hearts relationship is um, friend of a friend. <laughs> Oh, Rika, you're having a very relaxed Sunday since tomorrow's a holiday over here. Oh, excellent. That's what I'd like to hear. It's so nice having a long weekend when the weekend continues and you don't have to... You don't have to worry about getting up early on a Monday morning. And Grace, no, hello. Thank you for stopping in. And yes, thank you for the lurk too. Please don't spoil yourself. Very important. But, uh... But yes, I will have a good time. May is so full of long weekends. It really is. I feel like there are so many holidays in May. It's very nice. Um, but it, it doesn't affect me because I don't have like a regular nine to five job that has like set holidays. So whenever there's a break or something, I, I have no idea until I'm hearing other people talk about it. <laughs> also, I don't get to have a nice Monday tomorrow because I have a dentist appointment. So that's going to be... That's going to be fun. Well, it's it's going to be fine. It's just a checkup. Just a checkup and a professional clean. Because I really like getting the dentist to, to like do the, the full deep clean on my teeth. Whenever I do, it feels like... Like, I always feel like I'm brushing my teeth really well. And then I get them professionally cleaned at the dentist. And it's like, I, I feel like I've just got new teeth. I'm... <laughs> it's so nice. But yeah, I think... Everything should be fine. I've not got any problems with my teeth or anything. So, yeah, just to check up. But it's still not fun. It means I have to leave the house. <laughs> I have to actually get dressed in outdoor clothes instead of pajamas. What a, what a rubbish Monday. No, it's... It, it'll be fine. Oh, thank you for the head pad too. But, oh, Zared, your name's a clue on how much Kingdom Hearts means to you. Ah... Uh, you're mentioning it because you finally managed to do it after 20 years and a yearly Kingdom Hearts marathon. You finished the saga and played three. <laughs> you found it on sale on the Epic Games Store. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you managed to finish your, your 28 year journey. <laughs> that must feel so nice. That must feel so good to, to, to like finally accomplish that. Especially if it's something you really like as well. If it's something you really enjoy. I wouldn't be able to do that. I'm I'm the kind of person where when there's something that I really, really care about, as soon as it comes out, that is my life. Like Talos Principle 2, that came out and I immediately dropped everything else I was playing to play that twice a week. <laughs> oh, mind you though, I say that, but I'm actually a little liar. Because I am a huge fan of The World Ends With You, the DS game. Back when that came out, that game just like absorbed my life. I love The World Ends With You so much. And I still haven't played Neo. I still haven't played Neo The World Ends With You. I've owned it. I own it. I've owned it for so long. I just haven't played it. <laughs> and honestly, that's, that's a travesty. That is awful of me to have not played it yet. Maybe I should stream it. Maybe if I stream it, I'll actually get around to playing it. <laughs> oh, we'll see. I don't know, though. Part of the reason I loved The World Ends With You so much was because of, like, the DS touchscreen aspect to it. I tried playing the, the Switch version when it came out, but it didn't feel the same to me because I it didn't have the stabbing the bottom screen of my DS frantically with a pen. <laughs> But I, I, I want to play that. I gotta play that. Oh, you still remember the day you bought Kingdom Hearts and legit think it changed the trajectory of your life. Oh, I love when that happens. Oh, honestly, a little part of me feels a bit like that with Persona, the Persona series. One of the first video games I ever bought and completed was Persona 3 on the PlayStation 2, not even Fez. It was the original Persona 3 before Fez came out. And I, I'm pretty sure playing that game made me a gamer. I don't think <laughs> it sounds really silly when I'm wording it like that. But I, I don't think if I hadn't, like if I hadn't played Persona 3, I don't think I would have bought then more video games that I ended up loving a bunch. And I, I don't know where I'd be, honestly. 
Uh, like, you didn't really care about anime, manga, video games, none of that. Just reading books and playing soccer, then Kingdom Hearts happened, and now you're here watching a pink cat playing video game. It's it's truly the, the best timeline. <laughs> it is how things were meant to be. But uh, yes, uh, I'm very excited to play video game today, though. I actually have... Hold on, let's see if... Will my notebook still show up, my notepad? It does, there we go. I actually wrote my little task list of things I want to do in the stream today. <laughs> the things that are my priorities. These are the things I want to aim for. They are probably not going to be the things I end up doing because this is the kind of game where I have plans to do one thing and then I end up doing something else entirely. <laughs> like I'll start something and then get distracted and go, ooh, what's over there? And then before I know it, it's four hours later and I've not done the thing I wanted to. But this is like the tentative. If I get stuck, this is what I want to go for. The return of the notepad, yes! Hello, Primal Zed. I brought it back. But yes, the, the main priorities are I want to finish the logs for the vessel and the quantum caves. Quantum caves I think is going to be tricky because I have given that a few bashes already and I still don't know how to reach that area. The vessel I think should be a, bit, a, a little bit easier because every time I've been to the vessel so far it's either like the first time I went there. I'm back to normal. Okay, I'm large again. Hi. <laughs> I froze for a second and I was like, oh, am I, am I un, unchibbying? Yes, I am. <laughs> but the first time I went to the vessel was, it was quite late in a loop. I didn't have much fuel. I'm pretty sure I didn't even have my ship the first time I went. And then the next time I went was like more focused on end game. So I didn't look around much. So I think it'd be nice to go along there with my ship and try and like have a little look around and see what's going on and Artem uh, uh, please I hope you're not telling me anything about the game <laughs> I don't want to know I don't want to know unless I actively ask please don't don't say anything like that please <laughs> but I, I've not actually had the chance to have a, a full look around yet I've I, I think mostly because of it being through. Oh, the, oh wait, yeah. The joke about the anglerfish. Yeah, the the little section before the vessel. Yeah, that part is really fun and nice, and I I love going through that part. <laughs> but yeah, I've not had the chance to really have a good look around. I've I've mostly just been panicking every time I go there. So I think it'd be nice to go there towards the start of the loop, not having to really worry about time so much. And then have like a proper look around. And then I'll know if I've got my ship around, I don't have to worry about fuel. And I know there's trees in there, so I won't have to worry about oxygen, so I can actually have a proper look around. But yeah, I, I, I've, not, I've not had a full explore. I've not checked out the whole ship, just like the, the main like hub section. <laughs> so I think that would be good. And then also, one thing that is going to happen this stream, even if I forget about it until the very end and I have to run over, that reel I found at the end of the last stream when I was um, on the verge of passing out, <laughs> and then I died, that reel in the DLC, I am going to view that. Whatever happens today, that is going to be viewed. There is no way that is not going to be viewed today because it is right there at the start. It is so easy. And there is also a theater thing that is right there, which is also so easy. <laughs> oh, I don't remember which reel. It's uh, one of the the ones I found from the hidden uh, thingy, the projections. Projections, that's the word. When there's like the three projections with three areas, there's one that's literally behind some trees like kind of embedded underground a little bit I reached there and I picked up the reel but it was like towards the end of a loop so the theater had already kind of been um, drowned by that point and there weren't really lanterns around and then I died because I'm pretty sure I just got swept away by the water but because it's it's the kind of situation where I would have just gone back 
and done a quick loop just to view that thing. But last week, I was, I was genuinely, I was so ill. <laughs> I didn't realize until after I finished the stream, but it got so warm in my room that I, I ended the stream. I sat in my chair and I was so out of it that I like, I was just sitting in my chair. And then I looked at the clock and 10 minutes had passed and I was like, oh God, I need to cool down. <laughs> I, was, I was in a really bad state. But uh, the good news is, it's a lot cooler this week. It's not super hot. We don't have a heat wave this week. It's still very warm. And what I've done this time as well is I've preemptively decided to look after myself and I've kept my fan on in the background. It's very low and it's not pointing at me. So hopefully the sound of the fan won't be picked up through the microphone. But I figured even if it is, there's enough ambient noise in Outer Wilds that if there's a a tiny bit of fan hum. It's it's not a problem. <laughs> but yeah, last week was... I was not very well. <laughs> the heat really, really got to me. But I'm feeling better now, at least. Although it's it's been a weird week, though. I've had a really weird week. In terms of, like... Not even so much health. Just, like... I don't know, awareness? I think awareness is the right word for it. I felt very vague this week. <laughs> like, I'm not quite all here. I need something to tether me to the Earth again. So what better way to do that than blasting into space, right? <laughs> but no, the, yeah, these are my plans. I need to get that reel. I need to get the logs. And then also, I saw the, um, the owl person stranger in the Matrix. I still have not figured out how to get up to them yet. And I want to see what's going on with them. Like, maybe I can figure out some of the language if I meet them. So I really want to do that as well. And then also we saw the... The reel that... Gave me an idea of how to... Turn off the lights around that big alarm... Thing that... Made, like, the horrible red alarm every time I went near it. So I want to turn those off too. Like, all I have to do is get on the raft and look for a hand at the side. I think I vaguely remember what it looked like, but I will be double checking that as well. Also, Lumsev, hello. Welcome, welcome. Welcome on in. I'm getting prepared. Prepared for outer wildsing. I think I'm going to start with the vessel. I'm going to start with some vessel exploration. Oop, I need to remove my notepad now. We don't need that on the screen the whole time. Okay. All right, and with that, let us resume. <gasps> huh, I'm awake. Starting in style. Right, the first thing I need to do before I do anything else is to mark the vessel so that I know where it is and I know which direction I'm gonna have to go in. Oh wait, there's a thing I didn't read as well. Yeah, here, the slide burning room. A room full of burned slide reels piled next to a strange device. Yes, that's the one I found, but I didn't take the reel and look at it yet because I died. But I did with the others. Oh, and here too. I found a hidden slide reel that shows a container marked with a glowing symbol being handed to a shadowy figure. The lights are extinguished and the figure carries the container down into a dark well. Yeah, the well is the one that has all the alarm lights around it. I'm pretty sure that well is where I want to reach. But now I, I know how to extinguish that now, in theory, if I remember. So, vessel. The vessel. There's more to explore here. We're gonna mark that. I guess I am just going straight there. I love I love the thought of just being like, hi, I was really ill last week, but I'm returning to the game now. We're gonna start things quite gently by heading directly to Dark Bramble. If I autopilot here, that is going to send me into the sun, I can tell. So I'm going to go a bit further this way. 
I'm very high up. I'm way higher up than I need to be, but... I don't want to go into the sun! There we go. A uh, built-in pop count! Hello! Welcome, welcome! It's well guarded. It is. It's... I, I feel like you don't even need... Like, if, if you've just got an alarm that rings whenever someone goes close and kicks them out of the Matrix, that, that's a, that seems like a pretty good guard to me. But yes, we're going for a very a very gentle, warm welcome this time. And I am I feel like I'm probably... Oh, hey, the Quantum Moon's there. Nice. I feel like I'm probably... It's not going to go super well. Oh, it's well, well guarded. Oh, it is. That is a pun. Thank you. Hold on. Before I go in here, you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> that was a great pun. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Do you do you want to know why I didn't get that? Oh, it's probably not just this, but uh, I, I haven't done this yet. Let me crack open a can of monster. <laughs> Replenish a few brain cells with energy. But oh, welcome on in. Well, welcome on. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> I'm just going to be so conscious of the word well now, I can tell. Also, Kura Syllabus, hello. Welcome, welcome. Oh, every time I say welcome now, I'm just going to be thinking of wells and chuckling to myself. <laughs> right, let's see if I've, I've still got it. Let's see if I can avoid the anglerfish. Right, duplicate signal. We know it's the the orange one that I need to go for, so we're going this way. That's going to be an anglerfish down there, I think. So we're just going to float. We're just going to float very slowly. Slow and steady wins the race. A little faster, a little faster. I'm so scared of this place. Right, I'm gonna go through here with quite a bit of speed, so I don't have to use my boosters. Oh, that's... Oh, no, it's right... Are you kidding me? That's not fair. That's not fair. That's not fair. Excuse me? No. And I'm out. Okay. <laughs> well, that was a good start. Um... Let's try this again. At least it just like kind of kicked me out. I, I'm so bad. I've I've forgotten how to do everything. Okay. So I'm pretty sure it's the orange one I have to head for. I'm pretty sure I have to go for the the orange one. We go from a different side. Maybe I just got really unlucky. I hate this place. <laughs> I despise this place with all my being. Oh, thank you for doing the back seating message too. I forgot. At this point, a little part of me is like, is it worth bringing my ship with me? Should I just try and fly through on my own? But then I feel like I'll run out of fuel, which wouldn't be ideal. My ship is quite big, though. It's a little scary. Let's try, like, from the bottom. I, I don't know if it'll make any difference whatsoever. I'm so scared. But, oh, I guess Dark Bramble is also kind of a well. Um, a well of possibilities, right? <laughs> Descending to the depths. Or is it the heights? Maybe it's neither. It is it is neither. There's, it's right there. What the heck? It's right by the entrance. How do I get in? Let's go 
kind of hear me, I feel. I'm gonna try. Just floating really slowly. Yeah, it just ate me immediately because it was just waiting there. Okay! Huh. Well. <laughs> It's okay, it's a learning experience. I don't know if I want to take the ship, actually. My only worry is running out of fuel. But on honestly, I could I could work around that. I could work around that. I can use my oxygen as a propellant if needed. And there are trees there, so I can just keep like refilling my oxygen. I might not need the ship. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? You know what? I've had I've had wilder ideas. I'm I'm gonna go in without the ship. I'm gonna go without the ship and hope for the best. Da, 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 da. Away from the sun, please. Now I can start moving. I'm getting much better at driving. I think the problem for me is figuring out like the velocity and speed I should be going at. I'm getting much better at steering. But I, I still very much like autopilot. For figuring out the speed and stuff. Right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send the ship in with me but then i'm gonna get out of the ship once i'm like in there once i'm in here maybe it it might not work but i can but try all right okay right pretty sure that's the vessel I need to get to. I really hate this place. I wanna try and get a little closer so I can like preserve my fuel. No, I think that might be a bad idea actually. I'm just gonna make sure. Fully fuel, f fully jetted up, out I go. Going in this direction. Try to avoid using as much fuel as I can. I'm just gonna float. I'm gonna just float as much as I can. Oh. No, I'm not here. I'm not here. Nothing here. I'm not here. I'm not here. There's nothing to worry about. I'm not here. Oh, I'm so scared of this place. Oh, I hate this place so much. Ah! I wish I could I wish I could just like teleport to the vessel. I'd hate this. I'm gonna be so glad when I find what I missed in the vessel, because I never wanna I say I oh I just say I never wanna go back there again, I'm gonna have to. Okay, here we go. It's right here, but I'm floating. I'm not here. Can I, oh, this is terrifying. I'm not here, I'm not here. I'm not here, I'm not here. No, it's it's no good. I was going too slowly. I was just trying to propel like the tiniest bit. I need more velocity going in there. I think... I don't think I can actually bring the ship through there. I mean, there's, there's possibly a way if you're really good at this game, but I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to be doing that. 
but I, I think I need to. I think going in on my own is the plan. I think I need to go in with quite a bit of speed, so I'm just floating, but at like a decent pace, and I don't stop. <laughs> so I need to figure out. I'm, I'm gonna have to figure out. What's the best way to do that? The fish didn't even need a can opener this time. Yeah, I just delivered the meal right to them. Huh. Third time's the charm. This will be the one. Maybe. Possibly. Da, 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 da. Oh, why, why do they have to crash here? Why couldn't they have crashed somewhere decent? Although I guess some some parts of the ship did crash in more decent places. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. I think if I get to like five attempts at this and I don't manage it, I am I'm gonna move on to something else and then come back to it. But I'm hoping I won't need to do that. I'm. I'm, I'm hoping I will get through this time. <laughs> but, oh, this place makes me so nervous. You know what I'm gonna do, actually? I'm... I'm gonna do something that might seem counterintuitive to anybody else, but I'm gonna, like, turn the game volume up on my end. Like, not on, not on the stream, just on my end, so that I can hear every little thing that's going on in this place very loudly and hopefully avoid things maybe Th this might be a terrible idea on honestly this, this might be like my worst idea ever but i'm gonna try <laughs> yeah <laughs> so the jump scare is even more effective exactly um... all right That an anglerfish. Okay, that one's not an anglerfish. That one still could be? That one up there? Yeah, that one is an anglerfish. I made a mistake. Eat the ship. Eat the ship. It's not gonna eat the ship, is it? No. This is the worst. I was hoping it would go for the ship. I've made a mistake. What would happen if... What a really, really silly idea. No, it goes for me. Okay. All right. Well, I tried it. <laughs> I wanted to see, like, if I shot the scout, if I could use that as, like, a distraction and it would go after that instead. But no, it just hears the sound of me shooting it out, which makes sense. I, I was hoping it might feel like the velocity of the scout. <laughs> Flying past. Oh, uh, well, okay. Fourth time's the charm, right? Right, I'm gonna go in there. I'm going to immediately ditch the ship. I, I feel like the ship is a liability in Dark Bramble. And I need to drop it as soon as possible. So that is my plan now. My plan now is I'm... My plan now is to do the same thing and hope it goes better. <laughs> Oh, I could try and land on the sun station at some point as well. I do want to try that as well. I want to try and, like, not use the warp. I want to, like, land on it myself. I want to park my ship on it. That's going to be very difficult, though. <laughs> but I want to try. Not yet. Oh, my God. I'm actually shaking a bit already from Dark Bramble. I... 
I despise this place. This awful seed. Why, why did it have to do this? Although, honestly, I dread to think what this place was like. Like, before the seed. Before the, the ice. When the anglerfish were, I presume, just roaming in the water. I know, oh, now it's like three kilometers away. I'm, I'm further from it from this angle. Uh, all right. Well, out I go, I guess. As much speed as I can. That's not an anglerfish. Okay, yeah, the anglerfish is the one up there to the top right. And I can now float past this. Keep going, please. Please let me keep going. This is so slow. This is a really, really slow way of doing this, but I would rather be slow and careful than get eaten. But now I need to be fast. This is the scary part, because now I need I need speed. I need to come through here with speed. Okay, this is not much speed. But hopefully it'll be enough. I'm just gonna be really patient. I'm just gonna hope. Oh, I feel like I'm so close to them. I hate this. I hate this so much. I hate it. I hate it. I hate this place. I'm just gonna keep floating. I just keep floating. I just keep floating. I'm just floating. I'm just gonna keep floating. No! I'm just, I'm just floating. I'm just floating, how dare you? How very dare you? I will beat you up. I won't, I couldn't beat anyone up. I'm a baby. Oh God, I think there's more here too as well. I'm... Do I risk, do I risk propelling? I think I'm gonna wait. I think I'm gonna wait, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm too scared, I'm a scared baby. Also, Tay, hello, the fear. <laughs> I despise this place. Okay, I'm gonna go now. I think I'm okay now. Maybe. Okay, there's another anglerfish up there, but now I've got a bit more speed. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And the Queers Gambit. What, what a great username. Hi! Welcome. Welcome, welcome. What a, what a good time to join the stream. Yeah, it's just fear. Oh, goodness. Okay, I think I'm safe once I get through here. Oh, I hate this place. I hate this place so much, but welcome, welcome. Right, I have been here before a few times. And I'm quite aware we're dying. Uh, sorry. Niche Blink-182 references, yeah. See, everyone knows the, like, where are you? And, like, other Blink stuff. But the true Blink fans will pull out the always lyrics. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm here. I've got a decent amount of fuel. And I know there are trees in there that I can get my oxygen back with. I need to turn down my own game volume now. I I think that did actually help for like being aware of where the where the anglerfish were. I think that actually quite helped me turning my own volume up. But now that the the ambient music has started, I gotta turn it down a bit so I can hear myself. Ooh, stuff. Alright, it's time to start exploring. Oh, there's so many bodies around. It feels so bad. Right, first thing I wanna do is I wanna head to the area where the trees are. Oh, flashlight. So I can get my oxygen back. Over here, I know there's oxygen. Yeah! Oxygen. Yes! Okay. Okay, haha. -ha. Uh, a friend of yours did the opposite and turned off in-game audio to listen to K-pop instead. Honestly, that's... 
that's probably a really good um, calming down mechanism. <laughs> like, I don't feel like the anglerfish would be as scary if you didn't hear the giant as they're eating you. And it was just twice talking like you in, in your ear instead. <laughs> Turning down the car radio when you approach your destination so you can see better. Okay, but I genuinely do that. That's something I genuinely do. I'm I'm the kind of person where I'm really terrible at multitasking. So I, if I can block off one sense, then I will be able to make another sense sense more. <laughs> Hello, this is the broken one, isn't it? Boop, I got a broken warp core. What happens if I install the broken one? Oh, I got a ship log for putting the broken one in. Okay. <laughs> okay, nice. Uh, well, it's 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 definitely broken. Oh, I was wondering what that was for a second. There's a tree there. <laughs> it's a tree just floating. All right. I want to see if there's any more secrets around here. I feel like there probably are. It would be so nice if there's just like a fuel canister somewhere around here, but I have no idea if there would be. <gasps> Ooh, whoa, hold on. Ha hi, what is, hello? That's the eye of the universe. Hello? Hi? Ooh. I didn't see this before. Oh! Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 I'll stop it, let me... Hold velocity, there we go. <laughs> oh my goodness, I found something new! Yes! I'm recording now, I've never encountered anything like this. The signal the vessel is receiving appears to be older than the universe itself. This is our first contact with anything of this nature. Everyone prepare to warp immediately. Escal, wait. I need more time to send an outgoing message. Shouldn't we tell another clan where we're going? We can send the message upon our arrival. This extraordinary signal appeared suddenly. It may disappear just as quickly and we can't lose a discovery this incredible. Focus on preparing for the warp instead. I understand. Anona, is the re vessel ready to warp to the signal's approximate coordinates? The warp core is powered, but this will be a significant jump. Afterward, we'll need time to recharge the core. That shouldn't create a problem, provided we arrive at or near the signal source. Everyone, we're ready to warp. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh wow. I I didn't see that before. I've Okay, 50% fuel remaining, so it's, it's a little bit spicy. Oh, there's like a a mark on the wall there as well. Wonder if something happened. Right, I, I think I need to try and float around as much as I can now to save fuel. I don't think I've seen any fuel canisters around here. It'd be nice if there were. Maybe, oh, maybe up here? <gasps> Wait, I missed this! <gasps> oh! I missed a whole wall here! Oh my goodness! Ah! This is Escal's vessel. Something went badly wrong during our warp, and our vessel is mortally wounded. We need help as quickly as possible. Our vessel appears to have... Has it fused with the local environment somehow? There are vines that are now a part of the vessel. It's been torn apart from inside itself. We... We are abandoning our vessel. Any Namai clans or space flight capable species receiving this message, I implore you, we need your help. Is this broken? Can anyone hear me? Our vessel is dying. We need immediate assistance. <gasps> Oh, oh, this is so sad. Oh, yeah, the power of dark bramble. Oh, there's something over there too. Oh, yep. Okay. This is what I'm here for. This is what I'm here for. Problem is like not floating off in this place. Okay. To any of my clans whose vessels can hear this message. It's clear that the universe is dying. There are fewer and fewer resources and safe places within space now, so my clan and I believe the best option is for all of our clans to stay together. 
if you can reach the gloaming galaxy, we found that Blackrock's suns are fairly stable, and life in this star system is comparatively thriving. We live in relative safety. If you prefer to continue exploring alone, know you will be on your own. Kanna, we're making our way to you. It's good to hear from you, Bromi. We'll watch for your vessel. Has anyone heard from Neem? His clan was on its way to our vessel, but they never arrived and he hasn't sent any messages. I'm beginning to worry. That is unsettling. It reminds me of that old myth my grandfather used to tell, the disappearance of Escal. <gasps> I remember hearing that story as a child. One day, Eskar's vessel simply stopped responding. The other clans searched and searched, but found no trace. It was as if their missing friends had warped out of existence. That's no myth, friends. Eskar's clan existed, and their story was real. <laughs> it's Hisop. It's Hisop. Hisop would know. Of course you would know. You're from the same star. You're from the same star system. Oh my goodness. Oh. Huh. stay still oh my goodness what a curious event to have passed into myth our ancestors ancestors were told that story when they were young are you sure it's true hyssop it was a very long time ago but yes my clan's ancestors searched for eskar's clan for a long time but in the end none of them were ever seen again it's the only time in our history a vessel has ever disappeared this way Hisop, I hope you aren't comparing Eskal's story to my clan's vessel. Neem, my friend, we feared you were gone. Not yet we aren't, but nearly. We found trouble during our warp. The triple suns of the bright spark star system exploded. And it was only a lucky coincidence we weren't caught in the blast. We'll meet you soon, Kana. Oh, and this is like the first hint that it's not just this sun going supernova, isn't it? It's it's all of them. Ah, oh. I'm relieved your clan is safe, Neem. It's good to hear your words. Any vessels nearby, remember to be extremely cautious of potentially unstable stars, which is most of them now. Oh. Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. I also love that it's, even though the vessel's broken here, it's still picking up, like, the, the incoming messages. That was very handy, at least. But, oh, this is so cool. Also, I just realized I, I missed the message. Uh, do, do Harthian say 8W8? What's this instead? I kind of love that. Well, that's more like the oh Yep, yeah, instead of oh what's this? It's uh, the eyes. Add the eyes on. I, I love, like, the, the smiley face with the the four eyes. <laughs> yeah, it's just the sun station and this. Uh, then they patched in a third confirmation I already found. Oh! I see. So, yeah, because I, I saw it at the sun station, and then there's, like... When you end the game as well, it's very obvious when you see everything exploding around you. <laughs> it's like, if you haven't picked up the hints by then, there is a very obvious, yeah, this is happening. This is happening now. <laughs> but oh, that's so cool, that's so cool. I'm glad I didn't miss this. Oh, and that's also really nice as well, because in my mind, I was like, did all of the Namai just go extinct? But no, it's just the, just the ones who are here. Like there's still plenty in other, well, Never mind. Actually, as I'm saying that, I'm like, well, actually, um, um, with with everything exploding, then probably everyone is going extinct. But it's okay. <laughs> also, plutonic lamp. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome on in. Ah, oh, you didn't realize on your first play that they're recent messages. You thought they were super old. Yeah, I, I figured along the way that the the orange ones are like messages that are sent from like a distance and then the blue ones are ones that are like right here like right here versus like remote messages at least that's that's what i kind of thought along the way but now that i'm seeing this it, it makes it feel like that is the case 
But it's that's the thing though with messages. Like someone can write on a wall. If you arrive at that wall a day later, you don't know how long that message has been there. It it could have been there for like a week. Could have been written a month ago. It's very interesting. And I think I've probably found the important stuff here now, but I'm still gonna have a little float around until I run out of fuel. See if there's anything else cool around. Well, there's a lot of bodies. <laughs> yeah, look, it's completely entangled with the vines. That's so painful. It's just... All of Dark Bramble is just... horrific. The most horrific predator planet. Fuel level critical, I know. It's okay. I wonder if I can get, like, in here. You never noticed that orange meant that? Oh! I just... I kind of presumed it along the way, because it was like, when there were the messages... I think the first time I spotted it was the white... the white hole station. And there were messages back and forth, and it was like alternating between the blue and the orange. But I never- I don't think I ever actually like said that out loud. <laughs> I just kind of thought that maybe it could be that. Like I- it's- it's not until I saw that that it really... Like I- I feel like I was confidently saying, yeah, I think that's what this is now. Oh, this place though. Right, I think I found important stuff. Bum bum bum! Bum bum bum! Recently realized the walls with the projection stones are color coded. Yeah, the stone's orange and the pillar is blue. It's very interesting. Hmm. Okay, all right, I'm out, I'm out of fuel now. It's just oxygen. I think I'm gonna meditate and hope that I found everything here. I feel like that was nice stuff to have found. I can't wait to like go back to my ship now and it's gonna be like, there's more to discover here <laughs> and I have to do the, do the anglerfish thing again, but I'm, I'm hoping not. Let's have a marshmallow. And let's check my logs. <laughs> ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, okay, the mark is gone. The mark is gone. I did it. I did it. Oh. Also, I finished the base game. I have finished the base game. I missed all of that. <laughs> On my, my first completion, I missed all of this. I'm going back to discover more things now because I'm, I'm returning to the game to do the DLC. But I was also like, well, while I'm doing the DLC, I want to tie up all the loose ends as well. Because I found mostly everything. I only really missed the vessel and I think like a single quantum cave log that I still do need to find. I really would like to find that. I want to complete the logs. <laughs> I really want to complete the logs. But we did it! Look at that! The vessel's warp core is long dead. Uh, the Namai tried to call for help, but the vessel's outgoing message system broke during the crash. The vessel can still hear incoming messages from other Namai vessels. The remaining Namai clans are regrouping in response to the impending death of the universe. I found a recording of the original signal the Namai encountered from the Eye of the Universe. The Nomai were worried the signal might disappear, so they warped before they could tell another clan where they were going. Ha uh, And that's why they never heard from them again. Ah. Uh, oh, it's so interesting. Yeah, but it's like if we look now, I've I'm pretty sure I've got everything here. Pretty sure I've got everything here. It's just this. It's just this this little nightmare like it's it's the image that's in this card i'm pretty sure 
I've not been to that place. I gotta go to that place somehow. Right, what happens if I just... Can I... Yeah, I can mark location. Ha. Huh. Uh, also missed some text about the anglerfish, but the ship didn't say there was more to find, even though reading it added a line to the log. Yeah, sometimes that happens. I think it's, like, the really important stuff that's got the... There's more to explore here. I'm hoping there isn't, like, a single line somewhere I've missed. Uh, did I figure out the expired marshmallows thing? I didn't. I didn't. I still have to figure that out somehow. Little Easter egg. I, I haven't had the chance to think about it much because um, last week I was very out of it. And uh, honestly, I kind of forgot about it again until you just mentioned it. <laughs> but yeah, I do. I want to get the achievement for completing the logs. So I do need to... Right, am I gonna fly into the sun? Am I gonna fly into the atoll rock? That's what I should be asking, really. Uh, I, I might fly into the sun. Oh no, I don't think I will. <gasps> now I think we're good! Yay! Here we go. Uh, you know one the ship stopped messaging me about if I want to know a location for it? Yeah, sure. I would definitely be down for that. Bum, 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 bum. If you just give, like, a, a vague area. Oh, Sunless City. Oh, the, the Sunless City is so big. There's still, like, so much there. Oopsie. I broke my cockpit. Right, because the Lake Fed Cave is saying it's, like... Here. It's like really far down. So I have no idea how to reach that. I'm just gonna like ditch my ship for now, I think. Like that cave, how do I reach this? I might already be too late to be honest. It's oh, that's a lot of sand. Ow. Ouch. That was silly of me. I'm a silly person. It's okay. If I get smooshed by sand, I deserve it at this point. Oh, there's my ship! Hi! It's bringing my ship to me. How kind. Yeah, my ship's like wedged there now. <laughs> right, how the heck can I reach this late fed cave? Hmm. Right, let, me, let me do that first. Uh, this didn't quite go as planned. I feel like there's going to be a way to get here. I did, like, linger around quite a bit. But it's okay. Ah, uh, got, gotta meet some friends for the Easter egg. Oh! Oh, I wanna meet friends! I gotta find friends. I must find friends. Also, Zarok, thank you for the poster check hydrate throw a thing. Uh, mourn my silly decisions. Comforting Jim, thank you. <laughs> we have a big stretch. I'm not even gonna pause now, I'm pretty sure I have to meditate to get back through this. <laughs> but I will have a sip of my monster as well, thank you. Alright, here comes the sand again, maybe I should um... get out of- ow, I just did it even worse. I'm, I'm just destroying the cockpit. Okay, okay. Out of the path of the sand. Let's repair my cockpit and then I'll decide what I can try and do. Oh, why did I park there? Wow. I thought I was on solid ground. <laughs> only, only part of it was. Okay, I can still repair from here. No, it's fine. Look at that. <laughs> Windshield is sounding crunchy. No, it's not. Look, it's it's perfect. Nothing happened. Nothing happened here. Everything is fine. But hi, Zarok. I hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. I I love that you managed to join right as I was like doing everything wrong. Well, that's part of the fun of this game, to be honest. Right. I'm wondering. It it's been a while since I thought about the uh, the quantum caves thing. I think it might be a good idea to go to one of the caves that's higher up. 
we feel. One of the higher up caves to stick my scout on and see if I can find that room again. Because maybe if I look around with my scout, I might be able to notice something that I missed before. There's also the possibility I don't, but I'm, I'm already going the wrong way. Here it is. Right, yeah. Okay, I'm going to wait for the sand to pass. <laughs> wait for that to go. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. Goodbye. Don't mind me. I think if I... If I go in here, that there should be... Rock? Rock? Yes! Rock. Look at that. Boom. Rock. Haha. <laughs> Right, because I've seen this part. I love that I, I saw myself on the camera. And, Hi! Look, I got a nice little photo of me. Look at me. I'm so cool. <laughs> but yeah, there's... I, I can put my scout here, and then if I go like... If I look away... Oh no, it's not going now. Is it because of the light on my scout? That worked. It worked before, though. I'm pretty sure I managed to take my scout away on the rock before. What did I do? Okay. Okay, here it is. What What did I do before? I definitely got my scout on this rock. Did I do it on, like, the side and then go to the other side? I did. Okay, that's the room I've been in. I've been in this room. It doesn't help with it being on the side. Right, where is it now? Here, this looks like, this looks different. There's a plant here. I don't think I've been here. Huh. Hold on, I, I wanna see if I can get the scout on the top it would be so much easier to see what's going on if I can actually have a look around properly. Oh, maybe if I do it like here? And then what if I hide? There. Okay, yes, it's gone. There. That's, that's a room I've been in. That is also a room I've been in. This. This is where I have not been. This is the room that I have not been in, where I think the last part of my logs are going to be. But I don't know how to get in there. I feel like there is a way in there, because I can see that little, like, falling sand bit. So I'm guessing there's a way to fall in there somehow. I just need to figure out what that is. On oh, Pete the Salty Baguette! Hello! Welcome, welcome! Oh, don't worry, you haven't missed the ending yet. I'm, I'm still doing the DLC. I'm trying to, like, finish up a few of the logs from the base game to begin with. But for the moment, I'm just having a little break from the DLC. Because uh, I mostly, I wanted to check out, I'd missed quite a lot at the vessel. But thankfully, I got them back. I got that back. But, uh, oh, I think a hint on ship log mechanics would be useful. Uh, yeah, I, I trust you to give valid hints that wouldn't, like, spoil things. So if if you think there's a hint that would help me out, then I, I would appreciate that. I, I, I feel like you know, like, <laughs> the limits of, like, what would be too backseaty or not. Yeah, why can't I teleport with the rock? Uh, I can't teleport with the rock because um, the room it teleports to is a room with a light on. So I can teleport anywhere else with the rock, but I can't teleport into that room where the lights are on because I will then be able to observe the quantum rock, therefore the quantum mechanics can't take place of being out of sight, therefore it wouldn't work. <laughs> like, I can go anywhere where the lights are off, because I can just turn my torch off and then turn it on again and be there. 
but I can't get to that room with the lights on, I'm pretty sure. Oh, you can click on lines connecting nodes? Ooh. I see. But yeah, you, you, you can teleport with the rock. Just not to the place I need to get to right now. <laughs> like, if I did this... Oh, hold on, let me bring that back. If I do this... Look, I'm somewhere else now. Ooh. How mysterious. But yeah, I've tried it a lot. But I can get everywhere except for that one room with the lights on. And I'm pretty sure it is because... Because of the lights being on. Like, I would teleport in there and immediately be able to see, so the quantum shenanigans, the entanglement, wouldn't work properly. So it just doesn't send me there. Right, okay, back out. Oh no, that's the wrong one! No! I don't want to be here, I want to be in the other room. Not this one. This one! There we go. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> but yeah, it's the, the perils of quantum entanglement. <laughs> like, I can teleport along... And, like, I can send my scout along. Because my scout isn't actively observing anything until I take a photo with it. So it can still manifest in that position. Oops. of me. Oh, 60 seconds oxygen remaining. How do I get back up to my ship? Like this. Okay, we're good. I I always forget the gravity here. I'm it's so floaty. I'm so floaty. <laughs> Alright, let's get my oxygen back. Thank you. Right, let's have a look at the logs. Boom boom boom. Oh wait! Oh view rumor on the lines. The wandering rock was first spotted in a cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at Ember Twins North Pole. Wait, I, I, I just gotta go to the North Pole, don't I? I just have to go to the North Pole, I'm pretty sure. Hold on, let me... Thank you for showing me that. I did not even realize you could interact with, like, the rumor lines in between them. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's really helpful, thank you. Yeah, I would have missed that. That would have taken me a million years. Yeah, I maybe made it harder for myself by finding the place with my scout and not myself. <laughs> uh, so weird. If you were looking up, how would it be observed? Well, I'd, I'd still see the lights in the room. I'd be able to see the ceiling. Therefore, there would be an observation in the area before everything has happened, which is why I wouldn't be able to quantum leap there unless the lights were off. All right, I think we're going to the North Pole. Was it the North Pole? Hold on. It was the North Pole, right? Uh, North Pole, yes. Uh, oh, it showed up on the node itself while it was still a big question mark. Oh, it's probably, yeah, it's probably a thing that was mentioned in the logs, too. But sadly, I last looked at the logs um, a million years ago. <laughs> Alright, we're going to the North Pole. We're gonna... <laughs> Time to go see Astral Santa. We're gonna go to the North Pole now. Hopefully... I won't make a mess of it. Like, which which way is North? I do not know which way is north. We, we will soon find out, I guess. Let's get a, a bit closer. I'm just gonna land here to see like where I am on the planet. Which way is north? I guess when I step out, it, Okay, I'm like in the middle here. So north is going to be... in this, um, crevice. Somewhere. Right, is this north? Let's check. There might be an easier way to do this. This is very much not north. Um... 
I'm like the furthest from north that I could be right now. Um, I wish I wish I knew how to tell directions in any way. Is that a lake bed cave? So if I see something that looks like it could be the outline of a lake bed? Oh, maybe like... Um, I'm a little stuck. I'm a little, um... I'm a little bad at this. Um, right, I'm gonna park here and... Oh, maybe over there. Maybe over there. Hold on. Where about am I? No, I think at this point it's gonna be faster if I just go on foot. Because otherwise, I, I don't know where I am. I don't know what I'm doing. Also, Clappy XD, hello, welcome. Welcome, welcome. How am I? I'm doing well, thank you. I'm, I'm exploring and discovering things. Having a good time. Being eclipsed. Oh. Okay, well, this is the North Pole. Is it like the top of this? Wait. Hi. Yeah, this is where Chert is. Hi, Chert. Hi, I have a question for you. Uh, bum 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 bum. Hold on, just like bum bum bum. I found something. Uh, no, never mind. Thank you, Chert. We get to enjoy some bongos. And a marshmallow. Crunchy. But oh, thank you for following as well, Clappy. I hope you're also doing well. And thank you for the hydrate. I will have a sip of my drink. And hi, Timochi, meowdy doody. Meowdy doody to you too, hi. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Do not tell Chert the news. Chert seems very happy here on their own. I'm, I'm not gonna say the sun's about to explode. It's fine. I think I might have already told them, actually. I don't remember. I don't remember the last time I actually spoke to them. But either way, this is the North Pole, and this is actually really helpful for the future, too. Because when I want to land at the North Pole, I can just look for the smoke. The smoke plume from Chert's camp. So that means there's a lake bed cave around here. And so lake bed makes me think it's going to be further down. Oh! I think I found it, but I think I'm a bit too late. At least for this loop. But I know how to get here now. I know what to do now. I know what to do now. Yeah, this is filling up now. This is... I, I found it. I found it. Oh, goodness. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I know what I'm doing now. Oh, goodness. Ha! Huh. I know where I have to go, finally. Ah. Keep going. Oh, I'm gonna have another sip of my drink, actually. Because I can. Oh, I feel, I feel so happy now. I I felt like I was wandering for so long because I was just running along the whole base there trying to find where this mark was. This is where the mark has been pointing all the time. Yeah, I know. I figured it was like down at the bottom somewhere, but I'd completely forgotten the line about missing in the North Caves. Like, I remember now it was mentioned that like the the child went missing somewhere like in the in the north cave now like now that it's been mentioned and i read the rumor i actively remember it but that was that was sadly an a situation where i'd simply forgotten because i i saw that log like two three months ago <laughs> but i know where i'm going now i'm so happy i'm so happy oh how many times did i just wander all the way along like the base of Ember Twin like a silly bean many times 
It's okay, I remembered how to read now. <laughs> About 27, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> but yeah, thank you very, very much for, for pointing out that I could read the... Oh, I'm going to crash into Ash Twin, aren't I? Hold on. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Not ideal, not optimal, but I know where I'm landing now. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. I don't need my ship. Don't need my ship. I'm just go- Oh, ow. I'm just going. I don't know what just hit me. Something did. Okay. But I'm at the north. It's right down here. I found it. I found it. I found it. I'm going. Oh my god, I can't see. It's further up. Where is it? Where am I going? What am I doing? Which direction am I going? It's... it's... <laughs> oh! Oh, I found it. I think, I think this... no, that's... Here! Yes! I'm in caves! I'm in caves! This feels good. Yes, and we're going up. Yes, this is it. This is the way. Oh! <gasps> yes! Can I get through here? Oh, please, I can't get through. I'm gonna have to go around a different way. I gotta go a different direction. Ah, uh, it's just like getting to the high energy lab all over again. Uh. This way, this way, yes. Yes! <gasps> no, I, I that, that just led out. I went the wrong way. Oh no, I think this... I, I think I, I found it and I messed it up immediately. How do I get through? I got so excited and then I went the wrong ways and now I don't know how to get past. What have I done? I'm so bad with caves. I could never be a spelunker. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how... I don't know which direction to go in here. I know where it is and I don't know how to get through. This is devastating. <laughs> this is just leading back out again, isn't it? Yeah, it's just leading back out again. I don't know. Oh, this is the saddest. And now it's going to be too full. I'm going to crack my head against the ceiling. I don't know which way I'm going. Can't get through these. Ah. This is very sad. <laughs> this is very sad. I'm very lost. I have no idea where I am. It's like it's through here. I can't get through there. I can't get through. I can't get through. This is the end. Goodbye. I'm, get, I'm getting crushed. I'm getting crushed this time. Ah! Ah! See, I'm... <laughs> I feel like this is the perfect prime example of how I can be really smart. I can figure things out really well. I can have my moments of just being an absolute genius. But as soon as I'm put under any, like, time pressure or time constraint, I just cease to function. <laughs> It's like I know how, like, I, I get scared and then I go, then I go round in circles and I don't know what I'm doing and then I perish. Alright, let's try again. Huh, I probably, like, went in the right direction several times. To actually get in there. <laughs> But it's okay, that's a new death as well. I don't think I've I've been crushed to death yet. I've not been crushed to death before, that's a new one. I always meditated when the sand was coming down before. Ginkgo, hello! Welcome, welcome, relatable. Thank you, yes, it's, I'm... 
I'm very good at panicking. I get very scared. No, can you not, Ash Twin? You are right in the way here. Uh. Right, where's north? Where's north? I don't even know where north is. Can't see the campfire. Whoop. Ah. Yeah, I'm losing precious time because I don't know where I am. North? No, that's not that's not where Chad is. Chad, where are you? I was using you as a guideline. I, I don't know where anything is on this planet. I've been here so many times and I still don't know where anything is. I'm so bad at navigation and now the sand has started falling. Here it is. Here's north. Don't need my ship. I don't need no ship. I'm fine. Like that cave. It's so dark! And the sand is already falling. I am so ready to go the wrong way again. Right, I went left last time. Let's go... Okay, right is just blocked off. We go left. Is it now here? No, that's blocked off too. Go left? I'm just gonna keep hugging left. Let's see if that works. Keep hugging left? <gasps> Through here? Left? That's where the thing is. I see it. I see it. But I can't reach it. Go left? <gasps> oh, I can sneak through here? <gasps> oh no, and it's it's right there again. I sneak? I sneak? I sneak? <gasps> it worked, it worked, it worked. Oh my god. <laughs> where I want to be it feels like it's where I want to be where is the there's everything else I guess I go up now I don't see anything up here <laughs> it's so dark it's so dark I cannot see anything I don't know what I'm doing I'm so confused Here. Up here. Like a little ledge. I really wish I could see. Really wish I could see better. This, this, I'm pretty sure this is where I need to be, but it's also not. I, I'm not all the way there yet. But I'm so. It's so dark, and I'm so scared. Hold on, I'm gonna do something really silly for a second. I need to double check my monitor settings. I want to see if my monitor settings have like randomly changed themselves to like turn the gamma down so I can't see stuff that's right there. I need to double check. Because it's happened once before where everything was way darker than it should have been. But I don't know if this area is just that dark anyway. Bum, bum, bum. Is that it? Okay, let's try like this. No, I think it is just this dark. <laughs> it was worth the try. It was worth the try. I tried to I tried to scam my way through, but I it, I think it's just this dark. I can't see anywhere to go unless like the top where the sand's coming down. Can I go up here? Oh. Oh, there's lots of sand up here. Oh, there's little platforms I can land on. That was pure luck. That was pure luck that I landed. It's like a sand form. 
it up here? Yes? Oh, I think I found it. I think I found it. Oh. Uh -huh. Did I find it or did I just go backwards? I don't know where I am. I may have just gone backwards. I don't know where the heck I am right now. Oh, I don't remember seeing a cactus before. Maybe I didn't go backwards. Uh -huh. More cactus, more blocked paths. Yes. I wonder if I can get through that gap. The oh, this is scary. I don't think I can. I don't think I can get through that gap. If I can, it's very tricky. Oh, unless I wait for there to be more sand. Or I get myself stuck in a hole, maybe. That that would work. Oh my god. I, I felt like I was so close. And now I feel like I'm a million miles away again. I don't know where I am or what I'm doing. I hate caves. Caves are the worst. <laughs> I just wanted to find a room. I just wanted to find- I just want to find one room, please. Huh. Now I'm just stuck in cactus land. <gasps> wait, oh it- the, oh my god, wait, it, it quantum changed. Quantum caves. It quantum changed. Okay. Okay, the path changed. Okay, I need to find a path I can get through. No, I want to be camera mode. I want to be camera mode. Okay, of course they're quantum caves. Right, there's another path this way. Hmm. This way. I look away. This way. I don't know which direction I need to go in. I'm really low on oxygen now, so this is not great. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, I made it! I made it! I almost didn't notice that! I almost didn't realize the quantum shenanigans with the cacti! That would have been devastating. That would have been truly devastating if I'd missed out after all of this, but oh my goodness. Ah. Oh, that was very lucky. I should have known, they're called the quantum caves. I should have figured there would be quantum shenanigans happening. Um, <laughs> if you're here to look for Coleus, this is where we were when he vanished. He's been missing for two days now. What happened before Coleus disappeared? We were examining the different rocks. I recall Coleus standing on the largest one, the wandering rock. I was taking notes and then my lantern died. Uh -huh. When I lit it again, Coleus and the rock were both gone. Your strange wandering rock friend is here, though Coleus isn't. Coleus and I observed this unusual looking rock shard and several smaller rocks in at least two other caverns. I'm unsure if this is relevant. It is indeed. Ah, I'm so glad I found this. Oh, I nearly missed that. I, I was getting so flustered by just, like, being in a cave formation. And I was then just like, oh my goodness, I'm... Oh, I'm so glad. All right, what happens if I do this? Is this going to turn the lights off? It did. Turn the lights off. And it's gone. And it's back. And it's gone. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, this, this is probably the, the easiest place... To, to find that out if you don't already know. With the uh, stand on the rocks and turn off the lights. Yeah, how did I figure out the entanglement? Oh, it's it's because I tried it with my scout. And then I was like, I wonder if it works with me as well. <laughs> I think that's how I figured it out. But oh, I'm so glad I found that. I'm so glad. Oh, this cave, this cave has been a little nightmare. But I made it. Let's go 
somewhere else. Let's go a bit further up. Now I can go to all of them. Yeah, this is like the easiest way out. Yay! I'm so glad. I'm so glad. That was so fun. Ah! So happy. I'm oh, pretty sure other quantum caves talk about the lights, but not standing on it. Yeah, the, the only implication of standing on it is like Coleus just being like, the rock took me with it. Oh, the skeletons are quantum too. Yeah, everything is quantum. Like, it's one of the rules I discovered being like that if there are quantum things around, it also affects the things around it. I'm pretty sure that's just what the the pond bit is trying to like teach you back on Timber Hearth, the place where I thought there was more involved, but there is not. Right, well, I don't know where my ship is. Well, it's it's down. My ship is very down. It's also probably rather broken. So before I do anything else, I'm gonna go get some oxygen and refuel <laughs> over here. But oh, I'm so glad to finally, finally have that crossed off the list. Whoa. Where's the fuel? Where's the fuel there? Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. I'm... I think I've done everything with this loop that I probably can for now, but I want to do something before I leave. Okay, it? Sorry. Don't mind all the clattering in the background. Don't worry about it. Everything is fine. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate, Rika. Thank you. Thank you for the hydrate. I will have a sip. And then... How did, how did you guess? How did you guess what I was going to do? Hold on. There we go. <laughs> how did you guess? How did you know? be going here next to church on the drums. I don't know if this is going to be in time or not. I don't know if I've got everything synced up, but we'll see. Oh no. Wasn't that lovely? Wasn't that nice? Little jam session. <laughs> Thank you, Chert. I, I hope Chert liked it too. <laughs> Encore! Encore! Encore will cost you channel points, sorry. But hi, far too clueless! Welcome, welcome! Right, I, I think. What if, what if I just wait for my ship to be brought back up to me by the sand? Because I kind of just. Oh, it's just right here. How far away is the sand? I think I can reach it. I don't know what was broken. The starboard hull is damaged. That's okay. I can park it up here. Park it up here very gently. Now I can... Give the hull a repair, the starboard. Which one's that? The opposite of larboard. Uh there we go. Okay, we're we're all fixed up. Oh, I probably should heal as well. A musical masterpiece. Do you know Lahi? I'm I'm so glad that Soken also plays the automaton. It's it's a great instrument. It's the best instrument. I love it so much. It's so fun. 
Health and fuel full. It doesn't look like my fuel is full. It's full enough, I guess. Yeah, there's there's Rebex banjo, Chert's drums, Gabro's flute, Feldspar's harmonica, and the Hatchling's automaton. <laughs> we all know which is the best instrument. Oh, that's another achievement I want to get. The one for, like, managing to pick up every song at the same time on the receiver. I wonder if I could do that. How would I do that? Oh, bleh. what if I, like fly out of the solar system and then look back in and try and like get everyone in line poor Eska Eska's lips <laughs> I love Eska's es Eska's the whistling one right they were whistling right I think alright I'm wondering if, if I just like fly out of the solar system maybe I'll be able to pick them all up on the signal scope. I like this. I might have to go quite far, but I. Oh, I think this might work. Oh, listen! Oh, listen! Oh, I love this. <gasps> Wait, I did it! I can hear them all! We can hear them all! Oh, I love this! Oh, it's so nice. Isn't it nice? I'm very far away now. Oh, I'm glad I managed to to get that one as well. Because I was just here like, yeah, I think that's like the end of what I can do on this loop. And then I was like, hold on a second, no. I can also play the automaton. That as well. <laughs> It'd be funny if I crashed into the stranger here. That would be so funny. Hold on a sec. I want to try something. Where is it? The stranger. Error. Oh, I guess because it's not in the map system anymore. That's why there's an error. But it's it's over here. Oh, that's so cool. Wait, no, I don't want to autopilot. I wanted to remove the the lock on. I don't think there is a way to remove the lock on. But oh yeah, stranger error. <laughs> that's so interesting. Because the the map system is based on the satellite going around. So it makes sense that once something leaves, like, the range of the satellite, it won't show on the map anymore. Like, what happens if I do this? There's the, there's the map. I'm not even on it anymore. I don't even know where I am. This is just the map of the star system, which I am no longer in. <laughs> I'm approximately, I'm almost 500 kilometers away. It's alright, I'll start moving back in a second. Okay, now we're moving towards it. <laughs> yeah, it's so interesting looking at the map. Like, being so far away, it's like, it, it took forever to, like, zoom towards it. 
It's so confused. I've really confused the map. Yeah. Yeah, it makes the button prompts jiggle because of floating point errors. Everything is all woobly. It's all woobly. It doesn't know what's going on. I'm too far away. But yeah, everything about this game is so beautifully crafted. It's so well crafted. It's so good. But yeah, I guess next, I, I didn't get the achievement for completing the logs, so that means there's... Oh, here we go. A Nomai named Coleus was standing on the wandering rock when another Nomai's lantern died. When they relit the lantern, Coleus and the rock were both gone. Bum bum bum. Alright. I wonder, I wonder if it's... The ones that are greyed out still have something to discover, maybe? Because a, a lot of them are, like, coloured, but then there's a few that are still, like, they're grey. I'm wondering if there's stuff I've missed. Hmm. Hmm. No, it doesn't tell you about the Sunless City one. I see. It's just a, a mysterious unmentioned one. Oh, have I watched the Noclip doc, by the way? No, I'm, I'm waiting until I've done the DLC as well. Uh, like, I, I don't want to look up, like, documentaries or information un un until I feel like I have completely ringed this game out for everything it has. I want, <laughs> I want to try, like, everything. I want to find everything before I start looking deeper into things. Just in case there's something that I could have discovered that I find out by accident. Even though I feel like I've already found a lot, but... Oh, because it's irrelevant now unless you're going for achievements. Yeah, I, I want achievements though. It's... Uh, Chert thinks the lack of surface ruins means that Amai must have lived somewhere underground. You don't say. Yeah, they took shelter. Boom, 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 boom. Yep. Lots of shelter. All right, I think for, for a log that's not super relevant, I would not mind at all if you it would, would like to let me know where it is, please. I think that's one I, I wouldn't mind just being told about. <laughs> Uh, turn on the lights in the city, that'll help. Okay. Alright, I shall do that. Time to head into the city. Right, do I want to try the path which I always seem to get wrong? Or shall I try... Oh wait, there's the entrance that's like near the gravity cannon. I'll, I'll go in that way. Crunchy marshmallow. Whoop. I, d I don't need a directions for this one. Look, look, look. Actually, use secret entrance. I, I don't think I've ever like properly used it before, but I want to try. <laughs> Boop. If I can, we'll see. We'll see. I might not actually do it either way. <laughs> Because I'm pretty sure I remember where it is. Right off we go. Ash Twin's gonna get in the way again. It's okay, we just go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's okay. Okay, it's okay. Right, where is. Where's the cannon? Here it is. La -da -da. Gently, gently. Aha! I landed it. Right, I don't remember where anything is. 
Was it this way? I think it was this way. Might not be this way. No, I feel like I'm going too far. Oh, there's a website where you can see all the logs, but you'd have to remember to turn off DLC logs. Oh, I see! Ooh, if I get super stuck, that's a really good idea to check out. I don't remember whereabouts it is. I, I know it's like somewhere around here. Oh. Going so fast. Right, cause I can't just go like straight through from the gravity cannon because there's loads of ghost matter in the way. But I'm pretty sure there was another way to get in there. I just don't remember whereabouts. Oh, here it is. It's these rocks. It's these rocks. It's these rocks. Yeah. Yeah. I remembered. I remembered. I'm so proud of myself. And now it looks scary, but there's no ghost matter here, so I can... Can go here. And... Don't remember where to go from here, though. Uh, <laughs> somewhere around here. Oh, up there? Up there. Aha. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> I am... Very silly, silly proud of myself. Right, okay, I'm in. Let's let's go turn the lights on. Get some oxygen. And I go boop. Go boop. And go boop. And go boop. I read all of these. Anglerfish, Stepping Stone, High Energy Lab, Eye Shrine. Have I looked in all these places? There's so many places. I don't remember which ones I've looked in. I don't remember which ones I've looked in before. It's not one or four. I'm just going to turn those off to help me out. Thank you. <laughs> like I don't remember which. Have I checked out? here? I think I've been in here. That's not one and four. Oh, okay. I did not look at the, I, I, my brain went, uh, the one on the end and the one at the start. Hold on, let me go back and actually read. Thank you. I'm, I'm having a bit of a silly moment. I'm, I'm still like riding on the adrenaline. Okay, that's three. Two. See, why do they do three, two, one, four? That's silly. Silly of them. Either way, I... Have I looked in here? Wait. Hmm. Hmm. What is this? Anglerfish fossil overlook. Isn't this the way I usually come in? Yeah, that's the way I usually come in. Okay. Is there more stuff over here? Da, 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 da. I don't know if I've actually explored all of these places. Already filling with sand, my favorite. Hmm. No, that's a lift. Okay. Uh, um. Oh, maybe I do just take the lift. Can I take this lift? Hold on. I can. Probably shouldn't. But I did. Oh, 
There's so much sand. The sand is terrifying. Up here? What's this? That's the way to the gravity cannon. Unless there's something like on the way that I've missed in here. Hmm. It doesn't look like there's ghost matter like in here. Oh no, it is in there. It is in there. Okay, never mind. Um Oh. Look at that. That looks funky. Not a fan of that. All right. Yeah, I like the thought that they did it on purpose. They put the put it as like 2341 purely because they knew I would get confused. Hmm. I don't know where I'm looking. Akira, thank you for the dictionary narration. You know what I'm going to do? Instead of flailing and wasting time going around in circles, I'm going to have a, a breathing break and open my dictionary and see what we find <laughs> to stop me from going around in circles. Thank you for the dictionary narration, Redeem. We got the letter G and the word we have is... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? The word I got is grievous bodily harm. <laughs> like, not even just one word. Uh, grievous bodily harm is in my dictionary as an entry. The three-word phrase. It is a British legal term, meaning a uh, serious physical injury inflicted on a person by the deliberate action of another. Good times. But yes, grievous, an adjective, formal adjective, uh, of something very bad, uh, very serious or severe. For example, his death was a grievous blow. And it says, remember that grievous ends with V-O-U-S and doesn't have two eyes. I see a lot of people say, like, grievous and write, like, grievous with an extra I. But that's not how it's written. But yeah, I can't believe, like, it's just an entry for grievous bodily harm. <laughs> breathing break? I haven't been breathing this entire time. Well, I've been breathing a bit, but not properly. A, a breathing deeply break. <laughs> No, I have been breathing, I promise. It's why the oxygen's going down. <laughs> yeah, interesting dictionary. Yeah, it's it's an interesting choice of term to include, specifically. Right, where else? Maybe like in here? I already I already looked in here. I'm pretty sure. Oh, there's like this whole staircase here. I've not used this staircase once. I've just floated every time. There's an there's a, there's an entire staircase there. Ah, oh, the problem with the the Sunless City is that it is so easy to just run out of time immediately. Because everything fills up with sand so quickly. Oh, well, that just leads back up to here. Okay. Hmm. I did interact with this, right? Did I read this? I don't know. Let's read it again anyway, just in case. Should we build the sun station to power the Ash Twin project? I almost can't comprehend this being... This is being suggested seriously. The purpose of the sun station goes against every standard we hold ourselves to and everything we believe in as a species. If we fail... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've read this. Yeah, I've read this. I've read all this, yeah. Hmm. Oh, there's a little mouth opening up there. Hold on. Have you been up here? Oh no, I, I, I took the lift up to here. I'm still not seeing anything. I'm not finding any things. I need the things. Where are the things? Maybe 
a little too late for over here. It's already filling up quite a lot. Have I been in here? I'm pretty sure I've been in here. Have I been in here? I'm pretty sure I have. I th yeah, I think this is... Hold on, where is this actually? Hmm. No, I, th I, th I think this is not... This was a very silly decision and I shouldn't have gone through that door, but... Alas, I am a silly person who does silly things. In the name of science and discovery. Uh, Definitely not, because I'm just a silly bean. <laughs> yeah. I'm like leaning as I walk to try and look around the corners. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> uh. I don't think it's in here. Or if it is, I would have to check it. much much sooner than this oh i'm gonna get squished no i'm not gonna get squished can't squish me if i take myself out ha <laughs> ah. right let's try that again <laughs> a peaceful squish yeah i, I don't even recognize the squish I'm already in a coma, it's fine. <laughs> Thank you for the head pad too. Oh, they should add lean buttons so you could do a little wiggle. Yeah, if you could just like crouch down and lean through a doorway. It feels a little painful that you can't. Like, let, let me just like flop on the ground like a worm. Let me just like army crawl along. <laughs> I guess, I don't know how these suits work. It might be a little tricky. But Alonzo and hello! Welcome, welcome! Welcome on in! Welcome to Outer Wilds Times, featuring me trying to complete my logs. <laughs> I'll have one more look here and then I'm I I really want a DLC. I wanna I want to do more DLC stuff. Oh, why are you always in the way, Ash Twin? Okay, there we go. Alright, and the gravity cannon. Where else is the cannon? It's like... I'm, I'm, like, so upside down, I can't navigate properly. There we go. Pretty sure the cannon's, like, around this way. May have gone the wrong way. Might have gone the wrong way. Here it is. Okay. land here with a little bump and we can head back into the city oh I thought that was gonna injure me then I thought I was gonna get hurt by that I, 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 I figured that was quite fast but it's okay ha 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 Okay, it's area three. Thank you. Thank you. I was I was going to ask if you could narrow it down again. <laughs> uh, when it's just for like a single log, I don't mind for things like this. But uh, how's the outer wilds going? It is both wild and calm. We're having a good time. Wom, wom, wom. Around here. It's like around this area then. Let's go. I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled. Hold on, let me... Let me 
see. Let me check if there's any sneaky scrolls hiding anywhere. Because there's a lot of a lot of shelves around here, which makes me think there could be a, a cheeky scroll lying around somewhere. Hmm. come in but I I feel like I got all the stuff from over here like this is all the stuff with the anglerfish and I got this and I got the thing inside it I've already read that one too I don't know if there's anything else around here Yeah, and careful observation would really help. I'm I'm notoriously great at carefully observing things. Um Is there that lift that goes up? Is that around here? Because there's so many holes in the ceiling around here, this place is not safe. Hmm. Wait, there's a lift like in here. Huh. Why is there a lift in there? Hmm sand in there. Hold on a sec. Okay. Oh! <gasps> How do I get in here? Goodness, uh, how do I get around? Oh, back here. Can I? Oh my god, how can I get in there? How do I get in this room? Oh my god, uh, there's a doorway, the doorway right there. Oh, launch scout. Look at that doorway. Keep that doorway there, please. No, what? What is, what is happening? In. Can I go up and around? Hmm. Oh, sand. The sand falling. Sand falling. Sand falling. I can fall with the sand. I can fall with the sand if I can figure out how to get out of here again. I don't know which direction I'm going in anymore. Is it this way? Is this the way out? I think this is the way out. Okay, well I've got my scout there as a guide now. I've got to find... Yes. Go up here. There's my scout. I need to drop down this one. This one. <gasps> yes! Oh, yes, yes. Ah, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Who's been computing shuttle trajectories to the sun station? Don't worry, the station is in such a low stellar orbit, we've constructed a different, safer way to travel there from Ash Twin. Oh, I've, I've learned about this, yeah. That would be Pi. I told her we wouldn't be traveling there by shuttle, and that the sun station doesn't even have a landing pad, but she said she knew. It's a purely theoretical exercise on my part, Yarrow. Who doesn't love computing a good low stellar orbit shuttle trajectory? Pi, I look forward to working with you, but I'm also relieved it will be easy to return to Ash Twin regularly. Oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness. Amazing. Is there anything else in here? I'm so scared now. I didn't get a thing saying ship log updated, so I'm a little worried. <laughs> right, let's go up here then. Going up. There's probably one more thing somewhere that I still haven't managed to find. Uh, if I go down into one of these rooms... Ow. I fell onto a cactus. Yeah, all the, all the rest of them fall onto cacti. But yeah, I missed that one. And I, I probably would have missed that one as well if I wasn't actively looking for it. So thank you for pointing out the area. But also thank you for not telling me how to get it so I could still have that moment of, yes, I found it. Let's go get some oxygen. There we go. Whew. And now... If I can get back to the ship, the map mode can help with another. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to meditate for now. And then go have a look. <laughs> then go have a look at my map. Or, like, have a look at my... My logs. See what I've got. See what I'm working with. Because I feel like that's the point I'm at at the moment. It's just going to be, like, the tiny little things that probably share things I've already figured out <laughs> but I want to find them I'm I, I want I want the achievements I'm an achievement hunter <laughs> especially for games I really enjoy when I really like a game I, I always want to 100% complete it but yeah let's let's go have a look see how things are looking also Dima hello Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the head pat. Posture check, hydrate. Let me have a sip. And a big stretch. Oh, I need to sit up straight. There we go. But welcome, welcome. How's it going? Happy Sunday. Let's have a look. Yeah, it doesn't even, like, show up anymore. It doesn't even appear on here. Hmm. Remove that marker. Because the achievement, I'm pretty sure, is just, like, the base game logs. So. Hold on, why? There. Map mode. What am I missing? What am I missing? What am I missing? Hmm. Are there things to discover? Oh no, oh no. Oh no, well, well, okay. All right. All right, that. <laughs> Is it just the base game logs? I presume so, because it's a base game achievement, so I, I don't think they've put in an achievement that you can't get as a base game one, if it's not just the base game logs. But, uh, right, this is a terrible idea. This is a really bad idea, therefore, that's where we're going. Let's see what Hollow's Lantern has. Uh, look at that! Wow, this looks safe and great. I wonder what joys we can discover around here. There's just little volcanoes all over it. It's just a little volcano moon. What can I even do here? I feel like it's just gonna spit. Oh, oh no. Okay, I thought I thought that was gonna just blast me right out of the sky immediately. What is, is there? Something here. Would they put it on the map if there wasn't something to discover? Hmm. Well, I see the quantum moon. Hello. Hmm.
I wonder if I can land on it. It's probably an even sillier idea. Hmm. It's all just like spewing off in loads of different directions. What is this? What is that? Where's it going? Where are you going? Where are you going? What's happening? Oh! Oh, you're entering the atmosphere and you're gonna blow up part of Brittle Hollow. Yeah! Great! I don't know if there is anything to discover with Hollow, Hollow's Lantern, but... Oh god, where's it even gone? I don't even know where it's gone now. I'm. <laughs> it's about to be fire. Everything is fire with me. I don't know why it keeps happening. I, fire just follows me around. It's, it's my unfortunate destiny to be set on fire. We <laughs> we oui, oui, baguette. I'm afraid you have got the wrong language here. I uh. Je ne parle français. Uh, how, how do you even say sorry in French? I don't know. But Z-K-Y-R-L. Thank you. Thank you for stopping in. Hello. I don't know French, I'm afraid. But welcome in. I do like baguettes, though. I don't feel like there's anything to discover here. Part of me really wants to, like, jump out and get close in person. As silly an idea as that is. I'm gonna do it. Don't know why I'm doing this. How it land? Okay, that hurt a little bit. That hurt a lot, actually. I really, really hurt. I can't land on it. Yeah, that really hurt. And there's a lot of fire. I made a mistake. I made a very big mistake. It's not that. I don't think it's that. Let's try and get back to my ship if I can. Ow. That hurt. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Brokey on the starboard side. Thought you'd get the jump on his fire all cannon. <laughs> Where's my ship going? Please, I want my ship. Come back. I want my ship. I want my ship. Why get on my ship, please? Please. Please, I really want to get on my ship. I went too fast. I'm going way too fast. I'm so bad at flying in space. I go too fast and then I overshoot it. Because I always forget that like I'm going at like a steady pace now. Like I'm going at 20 meters a second now. It's quite fast when it's only like 50 meters away from me. I can slow down from here. Yes. Yes, I'm getting so close. I'm getting so close. Let me on. <gasps> I did it. Oh. 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 Whoa. Didn't think I was coming back from that one. Wouldn't it be so funny if I just accidentally flew into the sun now? <laughs> just floated into the sun. But oh, it would be so funny if I died on that moon by just crashing into it at high speed. No fire involved. Also, Prismatic Sky, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you enjoy your time here. Welcome to Questionable Decisions. What am I... What else am I even doing? Yeah, because I'm, I'm trying to... Find what I could have missed. So what else is there? There's Quantum Moon. Ba -ba -ba -ba. The Stranger. Yep, yeah, there's. I, I, I know I haven't done everything here. How about here? The only other thing I can think of is going to visit everybody again and telling them everything I found. 
Because there might be logs involved with that. So I might give that a try. I might go to everybody and just... In case there's any dialogue I haven't done with them. Let's start with Brittle Hollow because it's right here and I will probably just fall in a black hole anyway. So I might as well get it out the way. Okay, I guess I'm landing here. I'm landing here. What's the best way to get in from here? I have no idea. Maybe some of some of the planet has already been blasted away, so maybe I can just find a gap and head in that way. <laughs> Instead of finding a path, I'll just like drop drop through a part that's been like blasted away. Oh, I know how to get in from here, though, actually. It's like the little camp campsite. Which one is it? It's the one with the tree growing out of it. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yes! Yeah, I'll just go in this way. And I've got to go down there, I think. I can just do this. Hee <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I can hear the banjo now! Yes, I follow the banjo. Is this Rebeck? Yes, yeah, Rebeck! Hi, Rebeck! You launched! That's great! Great job, you! Yes, I did it for the very first time. Bum bum bum. Uh, I'm in a hurry. Can I ask you something? Um, I learned something. There's so much here. Oh my god, wait. <gasps> I don't remember which of these I've said. Uh, I found that. Yep. That's the launch pod. I found the vessel. Pretty sure I said that already. But um, these, I'm gonna do these ones. I think these are new. I found Namai writing about a quantum pilgrimage. A pilgrimage to the quantum moon? The Namai mentioned the quantum moon in a lot of their writing, so it was clearly special to them. And um, special enough to make a trip there by themselves. It sounds like a coming of age ritual, like how hatchlings stay hatchlings until their stomachs are strong enough to drink sap wine. Nice, what a good ritual. Maybe once in my journey to the quantum moon, they were considered an adult? Boom, boom, boom. I'm pretty sure I mentioned the escape pod at the very least. But yeah, if I, I'll just go through them all. Why not? I have time. You did? That, that's incredible. Congratulations. That means they really were from far outside our solar system. Haha, <laughs> yes, I knew it. But that creates so many new questions. If they didn't come from our solar system, where did they come from? Are they from our galaxy or somewhere even farther? What were their lives like before they came here? And why did they come here? Hey, I I might not be much of an astronaut, but I'm really glad I came out here to see the Namai's artifacts for myself. And um, thanks for telling me. About the vessel, I mean. Uh, I saw the old settlement. Isn't it amazing? Hard to believe the settlement is still standing, but there it is. It really makes you appreciate living somewhere like Timberhearth. You know, somewhere that isn't being constantly bombarded with meteors and rocks and stuff. Uh, I saw the Hanging City. You visited the Hanging City? Oh gosh, how was it? Was it amazing? Was it beautiful? Was it scary? The Hanging City is where the Namai settled permanently on Brittle Hollow. It was their most advanced settlement here. Why they chose to build their most advanced settlement so close to a you-know-what is beyond me. Maybe that kind of thing makes sense to a Namai, though. Maybe they needed the black hole for something. Yeah, they, they definitely did. 
Uh, I saw the Sunless City on Ember Twin. You mean there's another Namai City inside of Ember Twin? That's incredible. A whole city and I had no idea it existed. This is great. How did they keep the sand out? If it were me, I'd be nervous about getting buried in the caves by that awful river of sand. Gosh, the Namai sure were ingenious building an entire settlement underground. The Sunless City. Wow. That means there were two groups of Namai. One that lived on Ember Twin, and one that lived here on Brittle Hollow. But they must have travelled around the solar system, since Namai writing can be found on other planets too. I learned something. Uh, I found Namai writing about a quantum pilgrimage. Oh yeah, I just said that one. I went to the comet, and... Yeah, Rebecca's excitement is so cute. It's, I love how enthusiastic they are. It's like, even though they're absolutely terrified of space travel and anything to do with it, their curiosity was more power, more powerful than their fear. And I'm really proud of them. I'm, I'm so proud of them. I went to the comet and... Oh, wow. Wow. So that's how the Namai died? That's really sad, isn't it? I know it was a long time ago, but still stars above. It's lucky we hadn't evolved to live on land yet. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, this is what I figured out. I'm so, I'm so proud of myself. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself for figuring this out. Oh my goodness. I feel... I feel smart. I like to feel smart. Also, Dr. Anime, hello! Oh, and thank you for the hydrate too. Let me have a sip before we keep talking to Rebeck. Hmm. Over I go, there we go. And Nathan, hello! Welcome, welcome. It's lucky we hadn't evolved to live on land yet. To think, if the comet hadn't killed them, our species might have coexisted in the solar system. That would have been amazing. But... I guess if I hadn't wanted to learn why the Namai disappeared, I'd never have left Timber Hearth and come out here, or had any of these adventures. Don't get me wrong, space is terrifying, but... You know, it has its moments. Ba ba ba. Oh, I'm excited to say this. What am I playing? Um, if you look at the, I, the, the game is listed under the stream. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Recently, I've had loads of people coming into the stream. Well, loads, not not super loads, but I keep getting asked what I'm playing, and a little part of me is like, um, the the name of the game is right there it's <laughs> it's um the, the game is written there i'm sorry i usually i'm usually i'm just like too nice with questions like that but it's okay i don't know why it keeps happening i'm there's so many like if you want to know what the game's about, that's different. Like, oh, so what? what's going on in this game? That's a different question. But if you're just asking what the game is, the answer is right there. <laughs> anyway, I talk to a living Nomai. Ah, that doesn't make any sense. I don't understand. I'm very excited for you, though. Please stop yelling. Oh, did I just yell that in their face? That's so funny. <laughs> what? On the quantum moon, you said? There's a sort of living Nomai on the quantum moon? Well, why didn't you say so? Oh, now we're both yelling. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. This is the best thing that's ever happened in the history of Outer Wilds Ventures. I can't believe you talk to an actual Nomai. Great, so I just have to go back into space, fly to the quantum moon with zero visibility, find a spooky ruin and travel through a few different types of dangerous terrain to get there? Okay, yeah, that's... That's not so bad. That's probably doable. Oh, they're so excited. Right, what else? Uh, bum bum bum, what are you... I, yeah, I asked the rest, but... See you later. I'm glad I got to tell them about that now. That feels good. I, I feel like... With how excited they are about the Namai, I'm so glad I could tell them. Oh, they're so lovely. I just want to give them a hug. Rebecca is so great. <laughs> I love the banjo too.
It's so good. I love you, Rebeck. Honestly, I love all of them. I love all of the Hearthians so much. I, every, every single character I've met, I've just been like, oh, you're great. Oh, you're great. Oh, you are incredibly reckless and great. <laughs> Oh, I oh I should probably talk to Gabro. I think I should probably talk to Gabro again. Right, do I try and get back to my ship? Or do I Oh I have a Rebecca's marshmallows are in tins here. Is that another marshmallow? I, I, okay, that, that, that second time I was actually trying to roast it properly and I still stuck it right in the fire. I'm a very smart person. Yum. It's just a yummy marshmallow. Yeah, there's still a sealed can here as well. Rebeck is doing fine for marshmallows. Uh, I bet Feldspar has expired marshmallows. <laughs> Considering how long they've been missing. If I were to hedge my bets on anyone, it would be Feldspar. But also, Prismatic Sky, welcome in as well. Thank you for following. I hope you're enjoying my... my wild adventures. <laughs> I think I'm going to try and get to the surface. I could just meditate, but also I'm... I'm not a coward. How do, how do I get back up? Hold on. Is it this way? Okay, it's this way. <gasps> I'm gonna try and get back to my ship. I don't even know how long I've got. It might not be worth it, but I have to try. <laughs> oh, they sell an official Rebec plush, but out of stock at the moment. Oh my goodness, I want that. <gasps> oh, I want that. Oh, I want a Rebec plush. Oh, I love plushes. I've got so many plushies. I love them. Oh, I want them. I hope they restock. Right, now it's time to try and get back to my ship and hopefully not get clonked in the head by a meteor. Which very possibly could happen. And a little part of me is wondering if I jinxed it by mentioning. But no, I made it. Ow! I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm good. I'm fine. I'm good. I'm good and fine. And everything's fine. Oh, my landing gear's damaged. Let me fix that first. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. There we go. Fixed it. Lost One Souls. Hello. Banjo in space. Yup, that's a music genre. It's the best music genre. There is also... There are also many other instruments, too. We've got a harmonica. We got drums, we got whistling, we've got me on the automata. <laughs> right, what can I do when the sun is probably quite close to exploding? That was close. Whoa! Whoa, that was really close. Whoa, okay. Yeah, the sun's looking extremely spicy. Let's try head to the outer rock. Let's go talk to Eska. Also, Suzume, hello! Welcome in! Welcome in, Raiders! Welcome in, happy Sapphic Sunday! I hope you had a good stream! Thank you for bringing the raid this way! Welcome to almost the end of the world. How's it going? I just wanna... I'm hoping I can talk to Eska before everything... Explodes. Did I look at that? Hmm. I'm lost on the moon. That's where all the, the ice wedges are. Oh, here. Here we go. Perfect. Perfect landing. Very neat and tidy. And stable. Right on the edge, definitely. Oh, you played a sad game today. Oh, sad game, but a good short story. Do you recommend? Oh, I'll have to check it out then. I'm glad you had a good stream. 
sometimes like sometimes you need a bit of sadness like it's cathartic sometimes <laughs> but thank you for bringing the raid this way to anyone who's new here hello i'm liri i'm a pink haired cat girl from the uk and i love comfy games and puzzle games and i'm currently doing some outer wilds puzzling um it's listed as the dlc i am doing the dlc i'm part way through the dlc i've been taking a little break to try and get some logs for like the base game achievements but I'm going to be going back into DLC world as soon as I'm done with this. So I just wanted to talk to a few people first. But yeah, thank you for bringing the raid this way. Uh, very heavy topics are oh, understandable. Thank you. Thank you for the warning. I will check it out. Maybe not the, the kind of thing I would stream. I feel like I'm... I, I prefer streaming things with slightly... <laughs> Wait, it's, it seems so silly saying this, playing this game. I prefer streaming games with lighter topics. I say playing the game about um, Outer Wild spoilers, the end of the universe. <laughs> you know, like light, light topics like that. <laughs> but no, I'll have to check it out though. I hope you had a, hope you had a, a great time either way though. Thank you for bringing the raid here. And if you have to head off to to go rest or get some food or drink. Please don't feel like you have to stick around, but if you do want to stick around, I'm gonna be doing probably questionable things soon. It's gonna be good. Yum. Hi, Eska. Oh, hey, it's you. Ground Control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Yeah, I think I've been through all of this dialogue i don't think there's any extra yeah there's no extra dialogue here i think is that you whistling yep what is this place it's the moon talk to you later okay there's there's no new information with eska then but i feel like there probably are with other people like i don't know how long i've got until the sun explodes i wonder if i can get back down to timber hearth and talk to Oh, what's what's the name of the one? Tektite. I think their name's Tektite. The one near the the seed. They might have something interesting to say. Blum blum blum. I'm gonna go over here. There is more to discover here. Oh, I might have missed stuff on the Atoll Rock then. I'll go back there in a bit. I'm gonna talk to Tektite now though. All right, what does it say when I go on here with the, the Atoll Rock? Is that, yep. Yep. Yeah, it seems surprising there isn't a log for the, the ice things. Maybe I've, I don't know if I've gotten close two of those. Maybe I can try that. So many things I can try for like tiny log entries that don't even really matter in the grand scheme of things. <sighs> I'll find him. I'll get there. Hi Tech Tight! I have told you about quite a lot already. But... Yeah, because I... Yeah, I'm surprised I don't have the option to say, well, I found Feldspar. So that's interesting. Oh, is the, the ice here as well? Ah. Oh. So much to do, so much to see. So what's wrong with taking the, the, the really long back streets? No, you know what? We're going back to the Outer Rock. If I can find it. You'll never know if you don't go. You'll never shine if you don't glow. Okay. Got a little way out. It's probably... around the other side? Yeah, there you are. To the Outer Rock. Back streets, back. All right. 
All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Right, hold on. Hold on, I explored this, didn't I? Did I? Pretty sure I explored this. Yeah, I, I saw this, right? I'm pretty sure I read all this, yeah. I've Because this was, like, the smaller one. Now I'm, like, second-guessing if I've missed scrolls everywhere, so I'm just going to be, like, rereading things. Ba ba ba. Yeah, this was them talking about where to build, build it. I'm pretty sure I read this as well. Yeah, I'm... I'm I'm pretty certain I read these. I'm I'm so I'm second guessing everything now. I Let's go have a quick look on my ship. If it, if I can get in. I might be able to get in. Yeah. Yeah, the eye signal locator, the Eskers camp and the lunar lookout. Let's go keep looking around. Oh, I forgot to mend my... Ah. Why does it just have to break in the first place? Why can't it just be invincible? <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's keep looking. <coughs> right, because this feels important. The fact that there's like loads of wedges of ice here. But I haven't gotten any like logs or anything about it. Hmm. There's so much ice. So much ice everywhere. Also, Bagel Burger 007X. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. That is like the, the coolest new James Bond. <laughs> But welcome, thank you for following. Oh, I'm going a bit fast. Oh, there's a recording down here. I missed this. I missed this. Did I? No, I didn't I see this? Chert's research notes, property of Chert. This is an old crater. The neat thing here is that the composition of the samples I took from the impact site matches the composition of the ice on the outskirts of Dark Bramble. I'd posit the Atoll Rock was hit with a piece of the planet that used to be where Dark Bramble now lies. To follow up on, maybe there are more fragments of the old planet Dark Bramble destroyed on other astral bodies in the solar system? Hmm. Hmm. Go ask Slate to build me an invincible ship. I'm, I'm sure they would be so impressed if I did that. That was a very short visit to your old fr Ah, uh, I... Did I not talk multiple times? I thought... I thought I spoke to Eska multiple times. But if I didn't, that is my bad. Because I usually, like, after I've done the first dialogue, I always talk again in case there's more. I may have just forgotten because I'm very silly. Hi! Hi oh, yeah, I, I didn't talk again. I'm so silly. Can't get enough of the moon? Nah, I'm kidding. Don't go. Oh. No, it's the same options. Seems lonely up here. Was that you whistling? Yep. What is this place? Talk to you later. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if there's... Oh, wait. Maybe I can have a look. Oh, I like how there's a lot of fuel around here. What else is there? interesting uh what am i on the lookout other than ship logs i'm just looking for ship logs at the moment so like i don't even know if i'm in the right place but i i think what i'm going to do now is i'm gonna have the, the moon's looking very spicy so i'm gonna meditate and i think 
like it's already getting really late. I didn't realize how much time I've spent on this. <laughs> I'm going into DLC world. I'm going into DLC world. I'm doing some more DLC stuff. And then I will return for logs. <laughs> and more. Really, I'm just like on the lookout for anything I just haven't seen yet. But I'm also not feeling super observant right now either way. <laughs> but yeah, I think it'll be a next stream thing. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yum. But yeah, this is... I, I managed to get the vessel log and the quantum caves log, and that's what I was really, really wanting to get. So I'm happy with that. So now I'm going back to the stranger and we're going to get that real. We're gonna get that real, that, that real I found and didn't get to actually look at yet. That's the first thing I'm doing. I don't care about anything else, I just want that real. <laughs> Ugh, let me have a stretch. <laughs> Looking for logs and it's Marl I should be talking to. <laughs> so many logs. It's actually a beautiful, a beautiful clip of the first time I played this game. And there was just like a load of like tree trunks in storage, like on the side. And as I walked past, I just went, hey, look at the logs. <laughs> And I think the clip is titled, um, Good Outer Wilds Advice, <laughs> which I find so funny. All right. Um, here. I'm not going to take the elevator this time. We're going to go through the door because I know what I need to find and how to get there. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, oh, it's back to this? Oh, it's been a while. I'm just going to leave it here for now, though. I'm so sorry. That was like the shortest raft sailing music in the world. But I need the reel, which is, I'm pretty sure, back here. I, I will get that. Oh, my goodness. I'm... <laughs> I want to roll. I'm, oh my goodness, why can I just suddenly not play the game? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, I'm going to have some more monster. <laughs> oh, I love the music in this place, though. Any refuel? Right, let's go. steal this reel. Gonna shut the door on me, but that's okay, because there's a hole right here. I didn't actually mean to jump directly over the other side, but it works. And now I'm gonna take this to the theater. And we're going to actually do this reel, finally. Oh, and it's right here, too. That's so handy. I missed... <laughs> I missed... It's right here too, that's so handy. First try. Right, I still need a lantern though. Was there a lantern in here? I don't think there's a lantern in here. But I can go grab one from up there. So let's go. But yeah, it's it's the kind of situation where if if I hadn't been feeling really ill at the end of the last stream, I would have just done like a quick run just to view what's on this reel. But I, I was very not well last week. <laughs> so it's probably for the best we're doing it now instead. But I'm so curious as to what's going to be on here. I'm wondering if it's going to give me more secrets. More secrets for inside the Matrix. What do we got? Oh, 
Yes. Okay. Hello. Handing over another one of these, yes. Where's that one being taken? That way. Ooh. You're burning it? <gasps> Wait, they went through the fire. <gasps> they went through the fire. Is that not a real... F that fire is orange. All the fires I've seen here have been like blue-green. That is an orange fire. Okay, that is good to know. That is good to know. If I see a fire fire, I'm gonna step in it. Actually, that's that's a really not great thing to say. <laughs> right, what do I do now then? Part of me's wondering, shall I just go in this first area again? Go back into the matrix. Like, I know that it's gonna flood after a while and force wake me up, but I kind of want to go in. I want to go back in the Matrix. I wish of these has the moon. You do. Ba-bum. Ba-bum. Okay. Oh, I don't have the artifact. I'm, I'm so silly. It helped to have the artifact if I want to get in there. Right, I can I can get over there. I can get to Ghost Matter House. I guess, can I just access it from here? Yeah, I can I can go in this way too. Oh, that's so easy. That's very handy. Right, is it? I think it's up. Oh. Oh, I jumped in the wrong direction, but I'm still safe. Oh, oh my goodness, that was close. That was so close. That was really close. That almost ended tragically. That was very, very close. Okay. But I made it. But I made it. It it was it was fine. Planned. And now I enter the Matrix. Because I'm wondering as well, like, there's a lot of situations where I have to put out candles. I think I have to, like, light them too. And if I do that, I'm going to need to have the artifact with me to light them, which means I will not be in the matrix. So, start with I'm just gonna light some candles. Ba -ba -ba. Burning candles. 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 Okay. Bunch of candles lit. I'm gonna put you... I've forgotten how to drop it. There. Put you here. Out of the matrix. Where am I going? Who knows? Right, there's a thing there for putting out or lighting things. Right here. Oh yeah, that was for that doorway which I went through and I managed to get on the the raft doing that. I wonder if I can get over there somehow. Hmm. Right, because I have explored along this way before. I don't think I've brought um the artifact up here. There's a there's a thing, like a, a light remove thing. So I'm gonna bring it this way. I always go into matrix mode because it's nice being able to see what I'm doing, but <laughs> it's so dark. Why is it so dark? 
if they made this world i'm i'm thinking they probably made this world it feels like a projection situation if they made this world i don't know why they wouldn't make it a bit lighter it's so dark it's not very friendly out here isn't it annoying not being able to see things At least I can light my way, I guess. You know, there was a candle up there too. Can I not reach it? Candle. Okay, now I can. Yeah, I want to get up there. Oh, owls are nocturnal. Oh, that is true. They can probably see fine in the dark. It's just me complaining because I can't see in the dark. <laughs> right, over here. Mom. What is this? <gasps> There's a bridge! There's a bridge here! <gasps> yes. Okay. Over the bridge I go. I can remember how to get back up. Uh, get back over there. Where am I? How did I get here? Oh, I can just do this. There we go. <laughs> That's easier. Thank you for the head pads. There's a bridge. <gasps> There's like the... Oh, this is the lodge I saw with the fire. With the fireplace I can walk through. Wait, I'm seeing another light over there. I think there's someone else here. Oh. <gasps> there is! There's someone here! Oh my god, how do I get over? How do I how do I get? I don't know how to get there. How do I get there? Do I enter the matrix? Where does this lead to? Oh, there's a, there's a high five. I saw this. This is where they handed over the the thing and walked around. So I, I bet I can walk around this way. Yes, I'm going to be able to walk that way. Oh, there's no candles, though. someone there. Oh, I don't know how to get over there. Hmm. Oh, there's someone- wait, is there someone here? Someone here. Someone here. Hi. Hello. Oh! Maybe not friends. <laughs> huh. Well, that was rude. Oh no, am I gonna have to like stealth mission this? Oh no. Uh. Oh no. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. I'm uh, gonna have a marshmallow. Wait, when I did that, the fire's, the fire's orange. <laughs> the fire's orange when I burn the marshmallow here. <laughs> right, let's try that again. I didn't expect that. Um, oh, oh, there goes the dam. Never mind. I think I'm waking up now. You know what? There's no way to like force wake myself up, is there? Without dying. Okay, there we go. Yep, there we go. And we're flooded. Well, a valuable lesson learnt. Not friends. They'll blow out my... my, uh, artifact? That's a little bit rude of them. Don't know why they do that. 
but uh, I guess. Oh goodness. Now I need to try and hopefully find a raft. Oh, there's one like up here. Hold on. <laughs> Maybe I can just like push this one down. Boop. Boop. Or I can just get this one. This one's a bit easier. There we go. Okay, I've got a raft. I'm going to the end. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the end, to where the the submerged vault is. I want to have another look around in there. Oh, or I could do the hidden gorge one. I could do the gorge one. Oh, do we do that? Right, because both of these are flooded and... Wait, uh, hold on. I guess... Hold on. I'm trying to figure out if, if they're all, like, dead dead now. Because those bodies, like, I say bodies, like, the, the sleeping selves of them outside, they did not look alive to me. They did not look very alive. And so I'm wondering if they've just been, like, living in the Matrix this whole time. But because the lights have kept going... But because the lights were still going, they could just live and stay there. Oh, I don't know if I can actually get up. Oh no, I think the lift should still work. This time I won't have it fall on top of my head. Ugh, ugh. But I'm wondering if they've just been like existing in the matrix this whole time, even though like their physical bodies are dead. But now because of the dam breaking, they're gonna be like dead dead. Except for the people in, like, the third one. <laughs> that feels a little sad. And also, like, if they consider that a home, I guess it would make sense, like, if there's an intruder to their home, they would immediately just be like, yes, I would like this person to leave, please. Because it wasn't actually, like, hurting me, they just... I thought, I thought that they were going to eat me to begin with. When the mouth opened, I thought I was going to be eaten, but they just leaned in and blew out the torch, which woke me up. So I don't think they're like super malicious, but they definitely didn't want me in there. Probably just like, oh, there's an intruder in our home. Let's get him out of here. Right, because what do we have here? There's so much here. I'm trying to remember what I've learned about this place. And what's going on? It is true, their teeth do look terrifying. Their teeth are very terrifying. Okay, there's the bridge. Ha ha! I think it was like the- it was- it was the teeth that made me so nervous. Like, when they started approaching me with the massive mouth full of teeth opening up, I thought I was just going to be consumed. But then they just leaned over and just went, Phew. So it wasn't that bad. Is someone down there? Oh no, that's- I- that's the way I got across before as well. I wonder if there is. Oh, I wonder if that's what conceal is for. Like, if I conceal, then they won't see the glow of my light. So they won't go after me. Maybe. <laughs> what else is there around here? Is there anything around the back? That's a door that's not open. <gasps> oh, whoa, there's like a little stage. Did I see this already? I feel like I may have seen this. I remember the instruments. Oh, it's so cute, though. I got a nice little home here. Where are they? Where is everybody? I'm nervous. I don't like this. <laughs> I know there's a bunch of people here. 
but I can't see any of them, and that makes me worry. I keep forgetting I don't have my jetpack in here as well. <laughs> I keep trying to jetpack, and then I'm like, oh, I don't have that. I'm in a dream world. What else? What is in here? Right, I'm gonna come downstairs. I love the music in this place. It's so eerie. It works so perfectly. Let's go down here. Oh, there's a thing. Hmm. But I can't, like, put these lights out. There isn't the extinguish option there. Hmm. Random portrait. I can't extinguish the lamps either. I wonder what happens if you can see all right as they try and blow it out. I'm curious now. I want to try that if they find me again. <laughs> oh, that's a door from the other side. It's going to be in there. There's so many secrets. What's down here? Oh, oh, God, I just jump-scared myself with that. I... Oh, my heart. Oh, my heart. I didn't expect there to be a, a teleport zoom hand there. I... Oh. I heard something. I'm a little scared. A little bit scared. Teeny, tiny, little bit scared. There's something in here. Oh! <gasps> Oh, the sun's about to explode. No! No, so close yet so far. This door is shut. Oh. There's a lovely little projection show going on. Oh, I think someone's watching it too. I see the, the outline of the antlers. Are they just watching someone like sailing down on a raft? on loop that's that that feels so devastatingly sad honestly i'm like <laughs> this feels like really tragic just imagining like losing everything just having like a reel of your old home just sat there watching it that's that feels really sad it feels so sad oh Oh, I can view it from the the upper gallery, I guess. The viewing gallery. Oh, I think I made them mad by doing that. It's gone off. I think I did. I think I made them mad by doing that. <laughs> uh, oops. Wasn't me. <laughs> Wasn't me. <laughs> Tee hee. My bad, I'm sorry. It was just a funny hee hee. It's okay, I'm gonna die in a second anyway. <laughs> I'm just waiting. There we go, there it is. <laughs> it's like turning on your phone in the theater. Oh, that annoys me so much. That is like my, my biggest pet peeve like going to the cinema if you're watching a film and someone in a row below you gets their phone out and you can just see the screen it is the most distracting thing to me it even if it's like a low light it really annoys me <laughs> it's like watch the, watch the movie the movie on the screen i'm a chronic looking at my phone all the time kind of person and even i always have my phone like in my pocket for an entire movie at the cinema. <laughs> right, well. Yes, we got more. 
Got more information? I heard music coming from a candlelit building across the water. I found a covered bridge le leading into the darkest part of the forest. And then secret fireplace. I found a hidden slide reel that shows a container marked with a glowing symbol before uh, being handed to a shadowy figure. The figure follows a procession of lights through a forest to a candlelit building where they carry the container into a secret passage behind a roaring fireplace. I want to find that. But I'm a little scared. And that's also like a time restraint kind of thing too. Because of like having, knowing that like I'll wake up when the dam breaks for that area. Unless there's a way to like get to different areas from the first areas. I think that, hold on, I'm trying to remember where I've been. Because I did, how did I, what happened that time when I got to like the upstairs of the, the vault? Did I enter the vault? to get there? I don't remember. I. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna damage my ship. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh... I don't know why I'm... No, I'm not gonna repair it. I'm not going back here. <laughs> but uh, I think... What I want to do now is I'm gonna go straight to the hidden gorge. Because I know I can pick up an artifact there. I know there is an artifact there. So I'm going to go there and get in as fast as I can. I want to see if there's a way I can get the raft. Like, seeing the raft going through the caves, I'm not sure, like, what kind of path it takes. Because I wasn't really paying much attention as to where it went before, but now a little part of me is like, what if the, the raft continues along to a different area? And I could use it to, like, skip between areas. Maybe. I don't know. I just want to... I just want to ride the raft again. <laughs> I just want to ride the raft into the void again. It was fun. Oh, because also if I ride the raft as well... Oh, there's rocks in the way. Oh, I'm okay. Because also if I ride the raft again, there was the, the reel that I saw that was riding along on the raft and then using the, the hand noom along the way. It was like taking the raft and then looking up and like in that direction and seeing a hand to noon to. I would like to find that. I would like to go that way. I don't remember what area that was. I think it might have been the second area, like the, the place I just went past. I need to go this way, please. This way, please. This way, please. This way, please. This way. Yeah. Yeah. Nailed it. Nothing to worry about. A, a perfect, perfect sailing. Perfect sailing every time. I'm not hitting anything. There we go. <laughs> I love that that's become a thing now, having the, the grumpy... <laughs> the grumpy cat when the music stops. Honestly, me too. A good thing the raft can't get damaged like the ship. I would be doomed. I would be so doomed if you could. Alright, I'm, I'm just gonna go straight in, I think. I'm gonna go over and get the artifact. Which I'm pretty sure was like in the theater. In this building? I'm pretty sure it's in this building. I'm, I'm fairly sure. We'll soon find out. I think it was in here. Was it in here? It might not have been. It might have been a different building. No, it is in here. Okay. Yes. Oh, it was it was like right behind here. It was immediately on my left as I went in. Okay, now I know. I'm going in again. Get rid of that. Ba, ba, ba. Where's my artifact? Nice. 
Time to have another nap. I'm sad I can't roast marshmallows in the Matrix world. Unless I can. No, I can't. I wish I could. <gasps> Lyra, hello! Welcome, welcome! Have there been any scares yet? A uh, kind of? The answer is kind of. I, I was a little bit scared to begin with, but I think it was a misunderstanding, and I now know that the owls do not want me to be here, so I will simply not let them know that I'm here. And everything will be fine. Right. Let's get our bridge. Yes. Right, because I wonder what happens if I go across here in Matrix world as well. Like, maybe they won't notice me if I'm not holding an artifact. Don't know if they'd notice or not. I also kind of can't see anything like this, though. Oh, I need to get over there. I need to get over there. But with the artifact. Right, so I need to get, like, up and around and down that way, and then just walk in a straight line. Okay, I can do that. I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> Maybe because the raft isn't made out of duct tape. Excuse you, there is also rope and some boards of wood. For a, a, a flammable ship. Whoop. Oh, I felt a little rumble, I think. Hmm. I wonder if there's also a bridge across here. Oh, there's the hand. The hand's down there. Okay, I need to be downstairs. I remember this is the hand that jump scared me. But I'm ready this time. Hee <laughs> hee. Right. Yep, and you're enjoying your little show in there. I'll just leave you to it, I guess. Don't worry about me. You can enjoy that. Good times. What's up this way? Wait, or is it this way? Hmm. I don't know which direction I'm going in. I guess I'm going up this way. Oh yeah, that's the viewing room, and then I made them mad by blocking out the image on the screen. I won't do that again. I actually felt a little bit bad about that. <laughs> like they were having such a lovely time watching their show, and then I just show up and glare a light on the screen. I don't remember which direction I need to go in to reach that thing. I'm, I'm so turned around. I don't even know which way I should be looking. Oh, there's a hand? No. Not a hand? No, there is a hand. I just had to be closer. Haha. -ha. Give me a grab. Wait, no, did this just bring me back? Yeah, this just brought me back. Okay, I have no idea which direction I need to go in. I'm so turned around. Like, if, if I knew which direction I should be heading, I'd be able to do something. But I have no idea. Like, should I be going this way? Should I be going this way? Do I go that way? That's the viewing room. Is it this way? No, because this is just a room. No, and then this just leads me back up to where I was. I'm so confused. Hold on, let me conceal this for a second and have a nosy over here. Yeah, it's just the same reel over and over. That feels really sad. I'm trying to see if there's any other reels in there, but I can't see any. Oh, can I 
Kind of like from here, maybe? No, I don't know if there's anything I can view from here. Hmm. How about from up here? No, that just sends me back. I don't want to go back. I just got over to this side. I just don't know how to get out. This this lodge is so big. Oh, I wonder if I can open one of the doors. Oh, I bet I can open one of the doors from the other side using my lantern, but they're gonna get really mad at me if I do. Because I'm interrupting the show. What's in there? <gasps> I made a bridge, I made a bridge. Don't know how to get in there, but I made a bridge. How do I get there? Go around? Honestly, the thing that's scaring me the most is the lack of creatures. Like, the lack of owl strangers. I know there's a bunch in here because of all the, the lights that are still lit around the campfire, but I've seen like one watching a show very sadly where are all the others do I want to know where all the others are where am I I feel like I'm, I'm going around in circles again I don't know where I'm going I'm so bad with directions right I bet I can open a door somehow from like this viewing room or something Like maybe if I, maybe if I disrupt the, the show. Okay. Maybe they will leave and open a door. This might not have been a very smart idea. I can hear their footsteps. I hear the footsteps. I'm getting out of here. Where am I going? I don't know. This way. I'm over here now. Oh, actually, I think that was my own footsteps. Haha. -ha. Oh, but I'm over. Oh, this is where I need to, to be, though. <gasps> now I can get over here. Oh ho ho! <gasps> oh, that's the dam. Okay. And then that's. I know there's like a secret bridge you can walk across to get there. I found that in the Matrix. All right, what else is down? Oh. <sighs> it sounds. I hear sounds. Okay, I think this may be the frights. so many closed doors. I think I'm gonna have to open some doors by focusing my light, but I'm really scared of doing that. I'm a big baby. Yeah, I, I think the um, the lurking part of this I wonder if the I wonder if the reduced frights is like they don't try to eat you. Something like that. I feel like that would make sense if it's... Because it was a little scary when it jumped at me and opened... They opened their mouth. It was a little bit unnerving. Oh no, they're just back to their show again. Hmm. Alex, right, I know there's a door over here, but I can't reach the right direction. 
I wouldn't be able to like angle myself at it from here. Hmm. Oh, it's so dark. The dark is the scariest part. This is it's not knowing. Oh, I wonder. Oh. Can I open this door? No, that's not even a like a light operated door. It's just fully closed and sealed on both sides. Wait, I wonder if if I enter the matrix, maybe I can walk through the doorway? Matrix? Nope, it's a wall. Okay. But I am going to have a little wander in the matrix, I think. Have a look around, see what I can see. Oh, I'm going to have to e extinguish the lights. Aha. Uh -huh. I need to extinguish the lights to open the doors. I forgot about that. Haha, uh -huh. but where is the nearest extinguisher that would work for these? It might be that little island back the way I came. Like over the secret bridge I found. Where did I put my... Over here. Where did I put my life force? Where did I put the thing that keeps me in this realm? I don't know, I threw it. I dropped it somewhere. I just need to find the extinguishing thingy. Ah. Right, let's go back up. Um, let's drop you here. See what's going on this way. Many, many lights on. I'm pretty sure this is the, the thing I saw in the reel, which showed the way to turn all of the lights off. And I think it is right back at the start. I think I may have made a mistake coming this far. I, I, I think I need, I need to be back where I started, but now I'm very lost and I don't remember how to get back there. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could just perish. I could just perish and wake up again. Hmm. If I do that, I kind of want to try and do something silly first. Uh. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Like, what would happen if I did this? Hello. Hi. Will you come out? Part of me is wondering if they're going to come out and open a door and blow out my candle. No, I don't know where they are. I don't think they're going to open the door, which is a bit of a shame. I was hoping I might be able to rile them up so they would come out and get me. <laughs> and then maybe I could like duke them or something. Just be like, ha, you thought. No, I don't think I can. I'm just gonna do this. Oh, oh the, the water's not deep enough. The water's not deep enough. There we go. <laughs> oh, amazing. Amazing. I th I think, yeah, I think they were just sulking. They were just sulking. They just got mad that the screen was getting covered up and just started like having a little tantrum. That's so funny. Right, I think what I have to do is around this way, like the first way I figured out how to get across. It's like I go down here 
and then I go in a... Is it just a straight line? I think I just go in a straight line from here. We will see if I perish. Oh, it's working. Yes. Yeah, the secret bridge. Oh no, it's a lift! Oh, hold on. Oh, I'm going down. Where does down lead to? Who knows? Also, Natalia Gordon, 78654. Thank you for the follow. It is, it is. Oh no, I can make a raft? <gasps> raft. 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 Raft time. Yes, I wanted a raft. I'm gonna look out for the hand. No, the sun's about to explode. This is so sad. Go fast. Not seeing a hand up here. I bet it's the next place. It's too late to do anything now, but I, it's okay. I'm learning things. Where am I? It it's brought me back to the the, the oh oh so are there ways to get to each area from here? Oh, I've had an idea. I've had an idea, and I'm really really excited for it. And I really hope it works. Right, I jumped off there before. I'm gonna keep going. Even though the sun's exploding, I don't have much time. I want to see where it will take me. Oh, it's just taking me back into another cave. Okay. But I think that means there's probably a way to get to at least that area from the vault. Wait, where am I? Hold on a second. Is this the first area? Hold on. Where am I? This feels like the way I summoned the raft in the first area? Yeah, I'm through the cave. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. I have an idea. <laughs> oh, I should have stayed on the raft and double checked where it took me. I think it does. I think it just does a loop through all of the areas. I think it's a little raft trip through all of the areas. And so now I'm thinking, what if, what if I get on that raft and head to the first area? and wait until the dam is broken and everyone will have been um, woken up slash put to sleep permanently. <laughs> then I won't have to worry about stealthing. I'd be able to just like rush in. I'd, I'm guessing there's gonna be the fireplace I can run through there. Oh, I wonder if that would work. I think I would have to head in there first and make sure I've um, opened that door so I can get through. Oh, but this is exciting. I, I know what I want to do now. I, I've got my plan. I've got my plan of action now. I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. Because I was wondering if they might all lead to the vault, but I think it's more like a circle. So it's like the first area, the second area, the third area, the vault area, and then it just keeps going around in a circle. Transferring between them all. I hope this will work. If this works, I'm going to feel very, very cool. All right. Bum, bum, bum. My ship is the wrong way up, but that's okay. That's all right. All right, back we go. Ha 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 ha. I'm so excited. I hope this works. I hope this works how I'm imagining in my head. I think I 
should have plenty of time to do everything because I'm going to be like, like, especially if I'm going to be waiting until the dam breaks. That's, that's quite a way into the loop, I think. I think it's like halfway through. So I've, I've got plenty of time to do this. I don't have to rush. But I think my plan of action is... Okay, it's that way. My plan of action is I'm going to go in the first area with my artifact. I'm going to open that door. I'm then going to leave and head to... Can I... Oh, I wonder if I can get the raft from the vault part. Possibly not. I know I can get there from the gorge, so I'll, I'll just do that. Come on. Come on, little raft, don't get stuck. Yeah. Oh, uh, my, my driving has gotten so much worse. Oh, here we go. It's fine, it's fine. We're good. Okay, it's because the, the, the raft is slightly at an angle now as well. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. The water's a little choppy. But it's okay, I got it. Look, it's a second area too. I, I genuinely have already forgotten what's going on in the second area. Is the second area where I need to do the the raft hand thing, maybe? I'm not sure. Right, it's easiest if I go this way. Bop, bop, bop. Avoid the massive rock. Why'd the music stop? That was barely a boop, come on. There we go. <laughs> that was that was more of a. Oh, okay. I thought that was gonna be more of a crash. No, I'm just like scraping the walls. A bit. We're fine. We're fine. I'll go this way. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Okay, I'm remembering again. I didn't. I'm. 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 Oh my god. I literally just said I'm going in the first area to open the door and then I didn't open the door. I'm so silly. I'm... <laughs> I said it and then I immediately forgot it. Literally a minute later I just got so excited to be on the raft. <laughs> okay, change of plans. I'm just gonna go on the raft and see what happens. <laughs> I cannot think. I truly cannot think. It's very true. It's very true. It's the problem when it gets to like 12.30 a.m. <laughs> I literally said it out loud and then getting on the raft just I immediately forgot. I was just like I'm so happy to be here riding on my raft all the way around and let's let's just go on more raft journeys. That is my plan now we're just gonna go on many raft journeys. That's not that one it's this one. Bum bum bum. Oh no, you have work tomorrow, bye. Oh, I hope your work goes well. Thank you for stopping in. I hope you can get some good rest. But thank you for being here. Thank you for, for stopping by and joining me as I Im immediately forget what I'm doing. I can't believe myself. I am, oh, that's a, that's a, that's a special one even for me. <laughs> right. Well, I don't care about any of the rest of this lodge this time we're going on a little raft ride ba -ba -ba -bum. over here ba -da. lighting up the candles right because what did this do oh yeah that just made the bridge i might as well make it there we go and now i Boom. Straight across. Is there anything else around here? Oh, I can walk around this way as well. Hmm. Hold on, I'm curious. I'm a little curious before I raft.
Oh, I, get th I guess that's just another way in where you don't have to light the bridge up. Cool, okay. Let's sneak around the edge instead. But that's okay, I am going on a raft adventure. I'm gonna find that hand. I think it's gonna be the second area. But I'm not sure. So I'm just gonna be looking. <laughs> I'm just gonna be looking everywhere, just being like, okay. I know it's like to the right looking up. I'll just look everywhere. And hope that I eventually spot it. I'm probably going to miss it at this point. I'm gonna be really excited going on my little raft journey and I'm probably going to miss it. But that's okay. At least I can go faster by doing this. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Right through here we go. I don't think it's here. Because it was like a, it was a more solid rock face. Although it could be here. Oh, it could be here. No, I don't think it's on there. Is it? No, I don't think it is. <laughs> but then I'll overshoot. I'll, I'll always overshoot. Right, I have been up this way. I had a little explore up there. Oh, is it up here? No, that's too far away for my my artifact to even see. So it's not going to be up there. Through we go. It's not here. Let's let's continue to the first area. Is it up here? Nope. Oh, I'm going fast. Right, because this leads to here, but I'm not going to be able to get through because the door is shut on this side and I didn't open it even though I said that I was going to. I'm a very smart person. Yeah, this is the first area. There's the chair up there. Oh. Right, well, I don't think it's here. I'm gonna keep looking either way, though. Ba -ba -ba -bum. No, I'm pretty sure it's not here. Oh, this is... No, this... there's just trees. Because it was, like, up to the right and, like, up here. Oh, I hear the music, though. Oh. Oh, I bet that's gonna be really eerie, though. Like, if you're here and you hear all the music, like, they're all singing and having a great time, and then you hear the dam burst, and then all of the music just stops, that feels genuinely terrifying. Right, and then this is the second area. Oh, it could be here. I think it might be here. I think the hand jupe might be up here somewhere. This looks like the kind of rock face. Is it up here? No? Is it up here? No? Maybe not? Mayhap not? Yes? No? Maybe? Nope? Nope. Oh, here? It's de it was definitely like a cliff that looked like this. But not that one. Oh, uh, was that it? No, that's like a turn off the lights thing, I think. Not a hand. It might have been it. I'm, I was maybe looking too, too high up. I wish I could remember what the thing looked like. Oh, unless it is like here, but like at the beginning. Like I have to do a full a full lap to reach it. No, I'm not seeing any secret crevices. Hmm.
It'd be so funny if I'm misremembering and it's actually on the left this whole time. And I've just been staring at the right-hand walls. <laughs> right, I'm gonna zoom. I'm gonna zoom back to the first area again. I want to have a look there. I'm wondering if there might still be a way to get across. Even... Even though I didn't open the door. Although I don't think there will be. <laughs> hmm. Full speed! Yeah, when the music stops, then... Go. Is there anything, like, in this cave? What? It's, it, it just turns into, like, blackness. What is that? A little part of me is, like, it feels like this is, like, some kind of, like projection or computer program or something that they made. Oh, there's the dam. I'm gonna jump off here. Oh. I just heard so many noises. I think they may have all just died. <laughs> oh, here it- no, here it is. Here's the water. I can't hear the singing from here, though. Which is a little... sad. But yeah, I can't- I can't get back over because I was very silly and didn't open the door, even though I said multiple times that I would. like a very clever person. Right, well, maybe I can explore the second area. I didn't have a very good look. Oh, no, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. Oops. <laughs> well, uh, that was smart of me. Yeah, none of this loop has gone the way I wanted it to, but I'm I'm still a little curious now. I'm wondering if I can get to the second area and maybe explore. Although I don't remember, did I even see anyone in the second area? I don't even remember what is in the second area. I don't think I've explored it very much. I probably remember if I looked at it again properly. Wait, was that where the well was? I think the second area might have been where the well was in the first place. Which is why I thought the, the zoom thing would be there, the, the zoop. Anyway, let's try again. Not as much time as I would have liked, but... It's not over. Until it's over. It's not over yet. is probably in the second area. I think that clue was a second area clue. Like, the first area clue was walking through the fire. What? No, what was it? What was it? I've, I've forgotten what the other clue was immediately. The only thing I'm confident about is, like, the first area, I'm gonna have to go in that lodge and walk through the fire. I'm pretty sure that's... I'm pretty sure it was there. I mean, it could be the third area still, though. I'm. No, it showed up in the logs for the first area. Oh. And I, of course, I start from the area that's furthest away from the second one. <laughs> right, through we go. I wish this thing could go faster. I'm trying to remember what order the, the reels were in. Was the well thing and the, the zoom hand thing in the same one? I don't remember if they were in the same one or not. Oh, I'm going really fast now at least, though. 
I'm Newman. Newman, Newman. Noom noom, noot noot. I'm. I'm sorry. I. <laughs> okay, second area. I'm gonna be careful. Whoop. It's like stuck in the void. I wonder if that is like a, a loading screen for the different areas of the projection of the the matrix universe. Right, is there a place I can get off the raft? In this area. Why are we getting so high up? Oh, I remember this area now. It's where I, I parkoured. Wait, is that the hand? No, that's the hand, isn't it? Hand? Let me... No, it's not a hand. No, yeah, that is an extinguishing thing. Yeah, I don't think there's any way I can reach land on the raft from here. Maybe unless I've done, like, future prep as well. Let's just go back to three... Right, I th it didn't go as I wanted it to. But it's okay, next time I will remember to open the door in the first area. I'm I'm still I still can't believe I did that. I still do not believe I did that. I'm Ah I'm I'm, I'm smart and intelligent and I know what I'm doing. Huh. Right, let's let's have a little room. A little longer. Before I perish. But I think what I really need to do is I'm after after this, after I die here, I'm gonna go back to my ship logs and I'm gonna double check what the logs for each of the like secret projection reels say. Oh, I guess I can't get over to that side from here. Because I haven't lit the bridge yet. Aha. Uh -huh. So I can't actually get over all the way from here. Because the bridge... I didn't make the bridge. I see. But that's a, that's a fast way back to the beginning. I was so close. I was so close to the beginning when I was talking about how I was so lost and I didn't know where I was. It was right here. Oh. Amazing. Right, let's go back. Can I go back? I, I don't know which direction I have to go in here. I feel like I'm going to fall off. Well, if I fall off, then so be it. There we go, I fell off, yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> Okay. Still a little bit of time before the sun explodes, but it's probably going to start singing soon. Oh, my raft is still there, though. That's nice. My raft is still here. Oh. I landed a bit. Oh, n never mind. It's here we go. Now is the end, and this is stuck. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Oh well, it was a good adventure. I had a great time. Huh. Part of me was like, what if I just squash myself with the lift again? <laughs> I, I'm still amazed I did that. I... <sighs> right. We're gonna do that again. It's I, I realize it's already nearly 1am, which is usually when I end. But we're, we're doing that again, and we're doing it properly. And I'm not ending until I do it properly. And if I forget to go in the first area again, I'm just gonna meditate until I don't forget. <laughs> on another raft 
just in time. Look at that. Good night. Farewell. We perish. <laughs> Bonus stream. No, it's just, just extended stream. Bonus content because I was silly. <laughs> I still can't believe I actively said it out loud multiple times. And then as soon as I got on the raft, I was just like, oh, heck yeah, raft time. And I just kept going. I was just going. I went on my way and I was, I was having such a jolly little time. Oh, incredible. Right, let's try that again. One last loop, let's do it. Let's make it a good one. Make it a good one where I can actually investigate things. Ah. <laughs> you also couldn't believe it. I'm... The amount of disappointment I felt in myself. <laughs> it was as soon as we got to the gorge and I was like, oh, we're hit. No, this isn't where I wanted to go. I was just... Oh, I'm... Like, that's... I know I get easily distracted, but that was like a, a new one even for me. Oh. I love stream, but also take care of myself. Oh, thank you, I will do. I'm okay. I'm, I don't plan on going until like 3am or something. <laughs> I'm still gonna make sure I look after myself. Oh, but let's have a, have a good look. Yeah, because this is the first area. And it's there. I found a hidden slide reel that showed a container being handed to a shadowy figure, followed along to a candlelit building, went through a roaring fireplace. So I think the easiest way to do that is going to be wait until they are eradicate, eliminate that. Everything I say sounds bad here. Enter from the gorge and then come back, but make sure I open the door so I can get there. And then this one, Starlit Cove. A secluded village nestled within a cove, a candlelit tower sits atop a nearby island. The well at the bottom of the village is guarded by a statue that activates an alarm bell when it sees me. I reach the tower's upper floors by projecting a path to a secret entrance at the back of the tower. And that is... Uh, the lights, it just says the lights are extinguished and the figure carrying the container, uh, carries the container down into a dark well. But no, that, look at the, look at the reel. It's going on the raft. Get the get the thingy. Oh no, maybe this isn't the teleporty one. No, it is. It is, and that's the second area because of all the, the broken houses and stuff. But I think they may have been sailing in the opposite direction. Like, I can only sail in one direction. I think they were going back. Hmm. So I think I, I was looking on the wrong side, but I'm pretty sure that's the second area. Uh, a massive canyon that stretches into the distance. A candlelit lodge is built into the far cliff face. I found a mural of a large tree on the bottom floor of the lodge. Yeah, this is the third area. This is the gorge area. And then this one is... Yeah, the lights are extinguished, and the figure carries the container into a secret passage behind a mural of a large tree. So I need to... I need to extinguish the lights in that room. I wonder if I build the, the bridge that goes across, and then if I extinguish after that, maybe it'll get rid of all the lights. Maybe. That's my theory for that area. Anyway, let's try and do this properly now. I believe. I believe. Huh. But yeah, I love when the emotes almost land on my head. <laughs> Sometimes they get stuck there and they just have to vanish after a while because they don't fall all the way off. Uh, even after watching Magnus Archive, the British English for figure always throws you off. Don't. Oh, do you not use the word figure in that sense then? Like a, a mysterious figure at the bottom of the garden, like <laughs> like a, a shady figure in the distance. 
I'm I'm always surprised when things are like British English and I never realize it because it's the the kind of thing that is so natural. Oh, you say fig? Oh, figure, figure. Ah, pronunciation. Another thing I'm terrible with. It's like I whenever I try and say can't, I can't say like can't. It it feels wrong when I say it. It's always can't for me. And there are other words as well where there's there's such a pronunciation difference. Oh, like if you if you're on a journey somewhere and you're taking an alt alternate route. <laughs> for me it's it's root. I always say root. R O U T E it's pronounced the same way as R O O T E. It's like check check which check the route, check where we're going. And also, a lot of words where it's like D is pronounced like as more of like a J sound instead of just a D. Which is also the same with T actually as well. There's a lot of like CH for a T sound instead of a hard T. It's interesting. Yeah, use both for root. Yeah, I, I have heard root, but I've also heard route and I've, I've never said route in my life. I think I may have said it a couple of times like rerouting, but every time I try and say it, it it doesn't feel right. Here we go. I'm, I'm going, I'm going again. I'm going too far again. I'm going, I was, I, I got so excited on the raft, I was going again. <laughs> I was just off. I was so excited. <laughs> I just went. I'm so glad I realized in time. <laughs> oh, that would have been so funny. Wait, where's my artifact? Did I not pick it up? What have I done? I'm, I'm making such a mess of things. This is incredible. Did I leave my... I think I left my artifact on the boat. No, I let... I, I didn't pick it up after I jumped on the raft, did I? I'm... An, oh my god. I can't believe myself. No, but it's okay. It's okay because I'm noticing. I'm noticing these things. So it's not a problem. Because I can simply go back and pick it up and it's not a problem and everything is fine i can literally walk back there look it's fine it's i don't i don't need i don't need the raft i i'm okay everything's fine i don't need the raft i'm i'm okay where's my artifact i'm going in i'm just... Tell it's getting late, can't you? Yeah, I think I may have left it on the raft. Oh, I just, I, I, yeah, I, I left it on the raft. Thank goodness there are two here, right? It's almost like they knew people would be silly. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. I'm. Uh... Now we know why they put two in here. They did it especially for me. They did it just for me. They were like, oh, we know Liri is silly and forgets things five seconds after they happen so we're gonna help her out <laughs> all right here we go oh goodness me if i actually pull this off now it's gonna be so funny i i <laughs> definitely meant to do that huh yeah there was a spare i'm really glad that i i spotted at some point that there was a spare because otherwise, I think I would have ended up, like, meditating and restarting again. But it's okay, because I, I spotted it before and realized. And I had the moment of, like, ah! Yes! I wonder why there's two here. There. Okay. Now we can go. Now we can go. And I'll be able to get across. Oh, why am I going back? I can just... Let me just do this. That's way easier. There we go. Huh. Wakey, wakey, now we go to the gorge. And I can... I, oh, I, I don't know if there's another raft around here. I didn't think about that. I did kind of just leave my raft going. 
don't think there's a raft there because the light is on. There's gonna be one over this side. Probably. Surely there's one somewhere. No? No rafts about? Uh, <laughs> hmm. Any rafts over here? I mean, I could just go all the way back to the... the oh, okay, we're moving. We're moving. Yeah, I'm going over to the, like, the start area from the opposite side. Because <laughs> I know there's a raft up here. Ba -ba -ba. And the dam is starting to break. I know there's one in here, so... Whew. Not optimal. But I made it. Very much not optimal, but it's we're we're finally on our way, and I've opened that door. <laughs> ah, here we go. No, don't you dare pick me up. I don't want to be picked up. I don't want to be picked up. I don't want to be. I don't want to be picked up. Thank you. Whoa. Oh, there's a raft there. How far ahead was that? I probably could have reached that, but it's fine. So we got this one now. I, I, um, it's, it's definitely a functional raft that's staying above the water. Now we stick. Stick close to the right. The right. No, I, 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 I accidentally like nudged a pole and the music stopped. That's so unfair. Oh, it's okay, it's back. Good. We're good, we're fine. I've got the artifact. I have opened the the door. We're still in decent time. Everything is going well. And now I actually want to hit this one. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Not a scratch, not a scrape. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. I need to stop trying to rush. I think the problem is when I get an idea in my head, I get so excited about doing that idea that I start rushing because I just want to do it as quickly as possible. And that's when I start making the silly little mistakes. I need to be more patient. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Don't forget my artifact. Down we go. And now I sleep. Yeah, because there's so many people in here. There are so many in here. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's like eleven people in each one, except for the one where one was empty, where there's ten. So that means there's 32. There's 32 owl strangers around here. And I've seen, what, like five of them? Where are they? Oh, oh no, that's the lift. Okay. Ah. All right, to the raft. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, this is the scary part. Okay, so I'm here. And then a straight line this way. down. And now I can get to the first area. And then I guess I can I can kind of just take my time. 
Until everyone perishes and then run over. I can use it as like recon time. Observe from a distance and see what's going on. Hee <laughs> hee. Because I feel like if there is a, sit a, a secret hidden room behind the fireplace, like I saw two in the first area. All of the others are probably in that secret room, aren't they? <laughs> so if I go through there before, before the dam bursts, I feel like it would be a little bit scary, possibly. Just the impression I get. But we'll see. I've pro I think I've still got quite a while to wait until that happens, but that's okay. I'd rather be patient and take my time than risk rushing things and making a, a big mess. Right, raft goes along, ready to jump off. Ha. Right, I'm over here. Oh yeah, that just summons the raft. Right, and I opened this up. So I can go through this way. But when the dam bursts, I will not be woken up with the others. Because I entered from a different campsite. Ha 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 ha. Me genius. <laughs> Oh, there it goes, there it goes. Wait, really nice timing, actually. There goes the dam, which means in a second, I'm gonna be, oh. I can hear them. They don't sound very happy. I forgot which way around it is here, this way. But this should mean that I will be safe. Ooh. It does feel very sad. Yeah, I think that like cry of anguish was them dying. Um. <laughs> right, where's the, where's the thing? Here's the thing. Boop, over I go. And I don't have to worry about anyone blowing out my artifact. Because I think they're all dead. Which feels a bit bad, but it's okay. <laughs> Honestly, it feels so tragic. It feels so bad. Like, they're, they're clearly having a lovely little time here. Oh, there's a hand. <gasps> is there a hand going in the other direction as well? <gasps> there is. I think this is the way around. Oh my goodness. Imagine doing this. Having to be like in stealth mode. I would probably cry. Another one that way? No? It's just another way to get around here? Maybe? Might just be another way to get here. Bring me over here. Right, I just need to figure out how to get into the lodge now. This way? I'm pretty sure somewhere around here was when I was jumped. <laughs> Right, the lodges are like that way. I can't see anything. Where am I? There's no there's no candles around here. There's no candles here. This is terrifying. Yeah, this is definitely meant to be like some a sneaky stealth mission thing, I think. around. How do I get over there? 
Where am I going? I'm... Oh, I wonder if there's like a secret matrix path. Oh, it feels a little risky though, because there's like no lights around here. So I will be going kind of blind. Let's try it. I think if I walk in a straight line from here... Actually, no, I'm gonna do this. Okay. Okay, yeah, I know I'm safe if I... Like, this is... feels so dangerous. Okay. Okay, I'm out of the matrix. Is that a real path? Oh yeah, I went over that one. That is a real path. Is there a path over this way? I'm not seeing any paths. So I feel like I've still missed something to get over there. I don't know how to actually reach... Because it showed all the lights like walking along on this side. But how did they get over? How did they get over there? Like how... <laughs> there's, there's water in the way. Maybe I walk too far, maybe I go back. I'm gonna go back this way. Yeah, because they were approaching from like that side, but what if... I'm gonna explore this way. At least I know this definitely works as a strategy though. Like I don't have to worry about being caught. If I simply wait for them all to die instead, it feels so dark. Yeah, I don't know how to get across here. Because it showed them all like walking along there and I, I can't figure out how to do that. Over here. The fact that this is here too, I wonder if I walk like really far around the edge. I go around like this way. Can I even go this way? I don't think I can even go this way. Can I? No, I'm just like stuck under a tree now. <laughs> hmm. Solving one mystery and gaining more. Hmm. I'm gonna keep looking until I perish. But it feels very good to know that my... my theory worked. Right. It's over this way I need to go. I feel like there has to be a path. Oh, can I go, like, up on the tree? No, maybe not. Hmm. It's probably really obvious for anyone who's played the game and you're all just, like, screaming in your head at me. <laughs> I'll find it eventually. I'm just- I'm going so far. Feels like this is the wrong direction, but I'm just gonna keep going because I can. Oh, there's a there's a little like jetty here. No, this is probably a little too far. There isn't anywhere I can any hands I can noom to. But if I go this way now. Um. Oh, there's so many ominous sounds. Even though I'm pretty sure they're all dead now. Yeah? No, I feel like this is just where I was before. Yeah, this is where the giant tree is. How do I get over? I wonder if it's a lights extinguish thing. I've got to put the lights out somehow. Oh my goodness, wait! Of course I find it right as the sun's about to explode. Of course I do. That's why the lights went out for a bit and then winked back. It's an underground tunnel. Oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Well, at least I know now. At least I know now. <laughs> Where's this fire? Where is this... Where's this fireplace? I'm going in. There's a lift. I'm not gonna make it in time, I don't think, but I know it's here now. Oh my goodness. Ah! It took me so long to find it. At least I know now. Oh my goodness, whoa! These all reels. Oh my god, before I do anything, please. Oh no, I I fell. I got I got too I got too haphazard. I got too happy go lucky. I was wondering if I could go and grab the code. But I don't want to do that anyway. I want time to explore that place fully. I want to go back there anyway and explore it fully, so I don't want that code yet. <laughs> but I'm so glad I found that! I'm so glad I found that. I know what I'm doing next stream. I got something to start with, something exciting to start with. I'm so glad. <laughs> oh, and Black Adam 5, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I hope you've enjoyed seeing me be very silly. <laughs> welcome. Oh, that feels good though. I, I know where it is now. And I, I don't want to like rush through that area anyway. I Now that I know where it is and now that I know that it kind of perfectly times up, if I go to the first area, open the door, then head to the gorge and take the raft, I arrive there pretty much exactly as the dam bursts. So I feel like that's what I meant to do. I feel like that's what they intended for you to do anyway. So now that I know the path to actually get there, I will be able to get there in the perfect amount of time. And that's a really exciting thing to start with next time. <laughs> but yes, for now. For now. For now it is time for me to go to bed because it is 1.16 a.m. <laughs> Suval Hoon, thank you so much for the, the hydrate as well and the head pad. Have a sip before I go to bed. Oh, what a cliffhanger! I know. I'm just here to leave everyone on edge. Just be like, catch me next week. You know what's gonna happen. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Don't forget to grab an artifact, set it off on a raft, and then go back to grab it. <laughs> yeah, I have more time than I need. I've got so much time to set things up before I head over. I, I still can't believe I, I nearly messed it up twice. I messed it up like one and a half times. But that feels good. That, I, I'm so glad I discovered that. I feel like I discovered a lot. It was a, it was a fun stream. But yeah, with that, I think I'll bloop. Oh. I just knocked my dictionary off my desk, sorry. Um, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, everything's okay. I, I leaned over and I knocked my dictionary off my desk and I had a moment of panic because I thought it might have been one of my drinks, even though I don't have my drinks on that side. But it was just a book, it's fine. We're fine, we're safe. <laughs> but yes, thank you so much everyone for joining me today. I love this game so much. I'm so glad I, I managed to actually discover things this time. But I am, I'm so excited for next time now. I'm, I feel like there's so much to explore in the Matrix and I'm, I'm getting some like, ideas because I think the waiting for the dam to burst could be helpful for the second as well for the for the second area because that one also ends up like sinking the tower sinks I don't think it's like immediately as the dam breaks I think it takes a while for the tower to sink to the level where the, the water starts filling up but that is also a potential strategy I can use in the second area, but I also don't remember much about the second area, so I definitely have to go scout that out again. <laughs> and go have a look at that too. But that seems like a really, a really painful for everyone else spot to leave it at. <laughs> but, it, oh, that was fun. It's so fun. I'm so glad. And I'm so glad I'm getting the logs too. I think what I'm going to do is, for the base game at least, I'm gonna compare my logs between like the logs that exist and the ones I have to try and figure out what I'm missing. 
because I think I'm at the point with base game now where I think I've gotten the important stuff. I, I, I hope. <laughs> and if it's more just little bits, I don't mind looking that up to get it done. <laughs> but yeah, I'm finally getting the ca the the lake bed cave log as well. I that would have been so much easier if I'd remembered the part about it being at the North Pole. But I simply forgot. I, my, my brain does not store any useful information. It only stores song lyrics from punk pop songs from the mid-2000s. That's, that's all my brain is full of. <laughs> I can hear a song I haven't listened to in, like, decades. And I will still know all the lyrics to it somehow. But when I talk about an important plan for things I want to do, that's... That, no, they're gone. They're not important enough. Hollow's lantern first. Yeah, I've got to go spice myself up a bit. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for joining today. Let me get the raid message. There it is. I got the, the outer wilds emote. <laughs> got the blue fire. So if you're subbed, we'll have the, the blue fire emote. If not, it's just regular fire. And I... I'm going to send the raid over to the lovely Silphy, who is doing a subathon at the moment. I think they're still going. I, they have been streaming for like 12 hours, so I'm not entirely sure how much longer they're planning on going for, but they are doing a subathon at the moment, and it would be nice to raid them again. Let's see, I'm just gonna like rush send the raid over there. If they're gonna end, we can just follow the raid train wherever they take it. So I'm gonna send the raid Sylphie's way. Sylphie is great. They are a circus pigeon VTuber with incredible art skills. Absolutely phenomenal art. And they're also just really lovely in many, many ways. So I wanna support them for their subathon. Oh, subathon, donathon. It's, it's donations because they're moving house soon. <laughs> But with that, I need to go get some rest because I've got a dentist appointment tomorrow, so I should probably get some sleep. Thankfully, it's not until the afternoon. But, <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. Schedule will be up some point tomorrow. I'll figure out what I'm playing next week. I'm still not sure. But yeah, I should probably get some rest. This was so fun, though. Thank you, everyone, for joining me today. And until next time, bye-bye.